Tony played <laughs> with friends. All right, so in 1996, Mario was born. A man of many talents, a man of many hairs. Uh, okay. In 2002, Mario's wife died. And in Mario 2007, Mario celebrates the year 2007. And what a year it was. And then there were a bunch of soundtracks. Mario <laughs> dropped his mixtape. There's 81 tracks? I can't listen to all that There's shit. There's Dusty oh, Dune Galaxy. Hold on, what's a wah 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 wah? It's perfectly titled. Someone got paid to do that garbage. What a moron. <laughs> <laughs> if someone offered me money to do that, I would turn it He's down. Disgusting. Okay, we're gonna play this game. Ew, okay, let's not play this. <laughs> That's what it feels like when you take a little jagged shit. <laughs> like you're like a little stinger. Like you have a bee stinger <laughs> out. It's like a perfect cone. Oh gosh. Wait. I just noticed. It's That's... not 2007. Well, there's that, but also <laughs> we're in space. Good try, idiot. Space is fake. That was exactly what I wanted you to say. I keep telling you. We're going to space pill people today. Yeah, we know <laughs> Lyle's been properly space pilled at this point. <laughs> oh, Whoa. it made it her head. She's... What is going on? Imagine if, oh, if see. Mario got to the moon first and did this to it, and then those astronauts that faked the moon landing got up there and tried to put their fake little flag in there, and it was just Peach's <laughs> head. I'd be down with that. I always had a crush on Peach. I don't know if, if I did too, or if that was just conditioning. Nah, she's just so perfect. She's I don't so know. Beautiful. I, I, I never really pined for Peach. Yeah, you were a Sega kid. Is this the You're Mario outing yourself. Sally Acorn, on the <laughs> other hand. Whoa, we. <laughs> the toads. They're harvesting the stars? I knew there was something off. You can't commodify that. It belongs to everyone. Read that. It should have been a very happy to fuck. <laughs> it was the night of the star festival. <laughs> you know you can buy a star and name it after a dude. Really? Yes. Can and you people, name it anything? You can name it anything. Yeah, there's so many stars. Aliens have to honor it. So this is the hero, huh? Yeah. I hate Mario. He's kind of an asshole, and he's my dad. <laughs> the Mario is your dad. The Mario is my dad. Lol, well, were you the first person to say the Mario? I don't know. I, the Mario? I, I, I called him the Mario for a while now. Because <laughs> I've, I've started seeing that more regularly now. The I've, Mario? Yeah. I've never seen the Mario. Yeah, and I think Lol started it. <laughs> I might have. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you can just grab those right out the sky. Apparently you can uh, give someone else the second controller to be the stupid wiggly star thing. Yeah, and it totally- it, it causes more problems than it solves. Does it really? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Because the second player can make you, like, double jump and then fire all your coins away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a video. Rip straight from the Wii. Rip straight from the heart. Aw. I did like this callback to Mario 3 with the airships and all. Oh yeah, I always loved that song. The yeah, It's fucking some, scary. Yeah, it's got that nice little, like, like, war march theme. It is like the Imperial March. All this music is an actual orchestra, right? Well, I mean, on this one, it's it's a trick, but yeah. Yeah, obviously it was a scheme. Everybody involved thought that they were composing for the war. So this the is real motor war. holding these like blades of grass. He's blowing into them. You just lower the pitch, add some reverb. Voila. Yeah. <laughs> this was just Miyamoto tending to his garden and. Finding some extra time to record the soundtrack. He thought he was alone, and then Iwata popped out of the bushes, God rest his soul, and said, I got it! I got it all! And ran away! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I'd kill Peach, too, honestly. Because <laughs> you can't have her. Is he doing that to kill her? I He's, hope. Wait, how did Bowser get a fucking spirit bomb? Look, she keeps children in her castle. And fucking ghosts in her eye. <laughs> okay. She is an, an elite of the Mushroom Kingdom. It's Bowser. Can I run into these? Okay, that's better. Toad, more like load, am I right? More like I've grown very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I actually like that. <laughs> I've grown <laughs> tired of his shit. The princess, okay. 
I uh, so I I never like played through this, played through this because uh, this is the, my first time ever. I I played it once at a friend's house, but at the time it came out, I was just so tired of the Wii, just because that controller sucks. Yeah, I is hated that the is Wii that mode. a controversial opinion in this day and age that that controller kind of didn't work? Uh, I don't know. I remember when the Wii Motion Plus came out, everyone stopped saying that. Oh yeah. But this was I, before that, wasn't it? I never liked holding that stupid square. Also, the Wii Motion Plus, anybody who had played Skyward Sword can attest that that thing didn't really work either. Yeah. But, uh, I, I just remember at this point, like, I was... Boycotting is maybe too strong of a word, but just tired of playing the Wii. So, I, if a game came out for it, and I didn't, like, absolutely need it, I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. I remember I was so fucking disappointed when I played, uh, the Zelda on the Wii. What was it, Twilight Princess? Yeah, it, it basically just replaced the B button with any discernible movement of your yeah, arm. Yeah, I hated it! There uh, were a lot of games that did that, where the, the Wii motion thing, it was literally just it, that instead of a button. So he just steals the whole thing this <laughs> time, huh? If he's got the resources, I mean, why not? I'd assume, no, even if you did have the resources, it would always take less resources just to grab the person out. But this is cooler. Right, and if he's you, got aliens helping. If you were, like, one of those billionaires, you had unlimited money. And aliens. If you want to fuck with somebody, you might as well do it in the <laughs> stupidest way possible. Start building pyramids on their property. <laughs> Like, how would you fuck with someone if you had unlimited money? If you could, like, buy all the houses around them, like, unbeknownst to them, and hire actors as their neighbors... <laughs> that would be so fucking you cool. You could get away with so much horrible shit. That's technically not illegal, I don't think. I think it'd be cool if you could, like, make a ring of statues of the person, of them all fucking themselves in the ass so he can't escape. <laughs> he has to look at a ring of himself fucking himself in the ass. What if you got actors to move in around them, and paid the actors to get plastic surgery to look exactly like them and just slowly move them in over the course of like a year or two I would be frightened of, like imagine that shit that'd be horrifying and they're all like they all say that they have your job and do the same shit you do yeah. and they all have the same wife oh my name's Chris too that's so weird I'm also a YouTuber that's so sick and then they like pay for bots to have the same amount of subscribers I hate this fucking rabbit well, he's your responsibility This is now. your last chance to demolish him. I hate this is it. your last chance to throw him into the vacuum of space. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Miyamoto used to chase a rabbit around his house and grab it. Yeah, he said that he got the idea for Mario after smashing a rabbit's head with <laughs> he a hammer. Said, there is nothing more fun than slapping the rabbit. He said he put nails Ooh. in each of its ears and crucified it on a little <laughs> on a little baseboard. This, that, this really was the big gimmick of this game was just the the wrapping oh, yeah. levels, right? <laughs> yes. I just feel like I'm gonna be sick sometimes just looking at it. Well, I I see your point, but also it's kind of stupid. Yeah, you're not actually a game designer, dude. <laughs> you can't yeah. have an opinion on something unless you are the job of which you want to have the opinion of. Also, if you uh. think you can make a better game than Mario just all by yourself, why don't you- why haven't you done it yet? I'm just talking about Mario Galaxy. Oh, so if it's just Mario Galaxy, you could make a better game. You could make a better <laughs> no, game than- I'm not saying uh, that. Yeah, uh, you're saying something, and I'm still trying to parse what. Did you own that guy now? Does he have to do everything you say? Uh-huh. He's my star child, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I basically, um, have full custody, and I get child support for him. Oh, crop circles! Crop stars! What? Uh... Oh, yeah, there's, like, stars ooh. shaped like yeah, did, stars. Did aliens <laughs> carve little starmen into the planet because they were being dicks? The, that rabbit had a beacon on his skull. Come here, you. How do I- Oh, there, there you, go. you just run into him. I thought there was a grab button. You caught me! Should have hit him in the grass. Is that like a- like a tip? I think that guy's just lamenting his poor choices in life. Is this Wait, the grass? that's- that- yeah, there it is. Oh, he's- he's yeah, out. He's out, he's, he's out. He's out, he's about fucking kill him. Come here, stupid. I think you can lunge at him, too. <laughs> I thought so. All the controls are confusing Isn't me. Isn't there still, like, a Z-jump, like, in Mario 64? Mario can lunge at him, baring his teeth. Or if you crouch right before you jump or something. Yeah. You know, if you flip a rabbit on its back too fast, it can have a heart attack and die? Is that real? Yeah. I've never heard that. So Mario is actually putting these things at risk by grabbing them like that. There's definitely certain creatures we live with in the modern day that, like, they should be dead. 
They, they should be extinct. But Rabbits not yet. aren't extinct just because they multiply so much. Same yeah. thing with rats and shit. Yeah, their their rate of breeding makes up for all their other evolutionary shortcomings. <laughs> Blue Barella is my name. <laughs> I am Blumberimbo. <laughs> Starlene. Starlene's a good name. Why didn't they call her Starlene? Starlene. <laughs> yeah. That would have been okay. <laughs> Did he just swallow that? Mario looks fucking fat in this game. <laughs> I feed you my children. Goodbye. I like the way everything in this game has, like, the outer lines. I mean, the outer brightness. Rim lighting. Looks cool. It helps you pop out from the starry sky. Oh, yeah. Is do you th think that's a real lighting effect? Or, no, or it's do you a think shader it's, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a shader cheat, because it... It's on, like, everything. But a lot of shader cheats look really good. <laughs> See, I don't have a Joy-Con, so I'm getting confused. So you shake you the can, controller like You can also idiot. press Y, I think. I hate having to do this shit. Press Y? Rather... Okay. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can yeah, just, just do it. Yeah. Okay, good. That's actually very good. I freaking hate moving. <laughs> I, I hate activity. Oh, I fucking hate moving around, babe. I must conserve my life energy. Oh. Uh, go on. Uh, shake and press Y. Okay. Oh! <laughs> you missed! No. Mario! <laughs> and now the game's good. Now that the music's kicked in. Just imagine him talking, syncing up to the music. Find all the star chips. Okay. There's a chip. I found one! Thanks, Tomar! Ah! Oh, Goombas look fucking fat as hell in this one. Oh, weird. Oh, no! Their game cut out, sorry. Could someone message the CEO of Elgato and be like, WTF, brah, what is up with you lately? And why is it just called the cat? <laughs> just, just check in on him. <laughs> you know what, I'm kinda on your side. I kinda don't like... the disorientate... The, 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 I don't like running around these planets. It's a neat gimmick, but it quickly becomes just that. It's like... I don't know how I feel about it, like... in I, hindsight. I haven't seen enough of it to really have an opinion on it. So far, I... I think it's fine. But you we'll know what? See. Lyle's right, dude. I complained pretty much from the get-go. That's kind of lame. Actually, Tomar started it. If Tomar, you want to get technical. you're kind of negative. Toxic, yeah, you're, dude. You, uh, if that's... anything, are the poison pill of Oni Plays. <laughs> the poison <laughs> pill? <laughs> what is this shit? You, you put these horrible thoughts Apparently, in our head. It's not good enough. Hey, Goomba. I hate the Goombas in this one. They're just balls, dude. It is I, the Circle Disliker, and here is my <laughs> review. <laughs> <laughs> Circle the slide. I have my geometric preferences, and I think they're pretty founded on fact. All right, so elephant in the room, the music sucks. Uh, we can all agree, right? Do you really believe that? I don't think that's true at all. Tell I mean, that to the elephant, Tom. It's just a little too much going on, dude. It's just a little too good. <laughs> <laughs> when I think Mario, I think bad. What happened to the classic? Oh, dude, that, that was the fart track. That was... <laughs> this uh, game's called Mario Galaxy. This is like the next level. It had to go bigger. It's called Mario Gas Anusy. <laughs> Gas Anusy? <laughs> That's the shittiest you joke. Even try. <laughs> dude, you gotta stop this or Miyamoto's gonna copyright claim this video. Miyamoto is, uh... kinda lame, though. I, I still have that image in my head from earlier <laughs> of, like... Iwata and Miyamoto <laughs> sort of being this Tom and Jerry duo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was- Miyamoto was farting the Mario theme and then Iwata popped out yet again. And that also made it into what? this game, just with a little pitch bending. This was like if the you Fortnite just run of into him, time. Yeah, you'll kick him. I like kicking stuff. Fortnite is a retro classic. <laughs> when you're designing a hey game- Hey guys, remember Fortnite? What the fuck? He's uh, bigger than you now. Those and 5G towers to... are doing this shit. Uh, <laughs> you take the big guy. <laughs> 5G, did this to me. <laughs> See if you can... Oh, oh, oh there you go. You, now you can kick him. You have to activate the 5G <laughs> to knock him on his ass. <laughs> yeah, you, you had to irradiate him with that 5G tower. <laughs> this is a good game. <laughs> his testicles shriveled up and then he fucking fell over. So wait, you don't collect these guys? You'd speak to them. You politely. just set them free? Well, I'll sing a cover of I Want to Break Free while looking at that star. I don't know that song. What? I've never heard that song. That's Queen. That's Freddie Merck. 
He goes, I want your big feet. Just wanted to make sure you knew it, dude. <laughs> I knew it the whole time. I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. I know all about Queen. Let's have a Bohemian Fapsody, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what we did before this, dude. Come on. We, we, this, <laughs> this friendship can't just be based on jacking off, because... Well, actually, yeah, it can. Everything's based on that for me. That's true. You're what we call a coomer, Chris. <laughs> it's just like eating. You gotta do it. Tomar, let's base our entire life around porn together. Yeah, let's. Whoa! Why haven't we been doing that until now? Yeah, why aren't we doing a let's porn, dude? <laughs> let's porn! <laughs> just a few guys. Well, imagine that. Just a bunch of guys in a room, just watching the porn together, <laughs> let's porn. out and commentating. Not, not looking directly at each other, but enjoying the porn for sure. I think if we did that, it, we would be like entrepreneurs. We'd be the first. I'm sure someone's tried it. No one's done a let's porn. I don't know porn. if anyone's did a good job at it, but I bet it's been attempted. It would only be cool if a big YouTuber did it. There'd be people in the comments section of a let's porn like, This guy can't even come! <laughs> <laughs> he came too fast. I come way slower than him. Is Pornhub poaching talent from YouTube? Cause oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're gonna get all the jelkers of YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, come jelk on our site, and you can actually call it jerking off. Oh, that could be our, uh... You can just call it pulling on your weirdly shaped wiener. And then there would be the pushback from the Pornhub community. They'd be like, this site is for porn, not for jelking. Come on. <laughs> that could be our, uh, YouTube audience name, the Jelkers. Yeah. Hey there, Jelkers! Hey, Jelkers, welcome back. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, don't jelk, guys. It doesn't work. Take it from me. Chris has tried a lot. I used my vacuum, I used that stuff that makes taffy longer, I used... St I, I used <laughs> Wait, Hungry Monkeys I'm just at the thinking, zoo. I'm just thinking about how a taffy puller operates. <laughs> you put your dick in it and it rips <laughs> right off. Is that the sun? Have you ever seen one of those taffy pullers? Like, have you gone to like the beach and you see yeah, the little machine the in the window? Yeah, they're the most satisfying things to look at. I miss taffy. I haven't had taffy in a long time. That's why you're not so laughy. It's also why I'm not so chonky. But you are still a gigantic honky. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody noticed. <laughs> Guys, Tomer's down to 68 pounds, and he's going further. I am in the 160s. <laughs> I'm definitely not to 68. Tomer. He's going to the next level. Tomer, read that, but say it like an old, an old whisperer man. Ah, sheep. Well, <laughs> let me read it! <laughs> he got you too, huh? <laughs> Was you asshole. This is this fucking like Charlie Brown Lucy football shit you're pulling on us? Oh, it is kind of, this is the gaming version of that. <laughs> this is your gaming Lucy. <laughs> Let's rename this show to Gaming Lucy. Read that. Read that. No. <laughs> we're, we're just tired of you at this point. I'm sorry you've exhausted this entire friendship. But uh, what if I said you were my bro Brosalina? Okay, you want it back. Okay. This time. Oh yeah, so I think at this point, now you are trying to collect these little star guys. Okay, so now, now you, you Whee! own them if you break them free. I mean, they don't call it ownership, they call it rescuing. Indentured rescuing. That's, that's the politically Whoa! correct term. I'm wasting my freaking <laughs> stars! Indentured rescuees. <laughs> <laughs> They're not my slaves, they just owe me their lives, and they tend to do what I say. I really want to apologize to the viewer. I'm not good at this game, because I'm holding a pro controller, and I don't know how to use it. Also, have you even played this game? You haven't played Mario Galaxy ever, I thought. Nope. So yeah, for for the sake of fairness, this is Chris's first playthrough. This but is baby's also first gotta steps. This is a, a baby game. For babies. Well, uh, yeah. What happened to this place? Saying. It's gone dark. Yeah, I don't think they want you here. All the friendship is drained out of it. I feel so cold, so lonely. Time to fucking kill myself. What? Jesus. Put me I have down. become a Pink Floyd album cover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Nostalgia Critic Wall review again. Can we not? <laughs> <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> Go into the slut hut. Hey guys! Welcome, the storm acts as an eye. We can gaze upon distant galaxies. Oh, that'd be that'd be a good uh, Mario Galaxy parody. Nine years late, where uh, one of these guys is looking through that telescope at other stars, and he's like jerking off like a peeping tom. <laughs> <laughs> See, did anyone do that? If I can nobody did that, that, I'm already fucking disappointed in all of you. It's not right. you, the viewer, but just 
just the internet community at large. Whoa. It seems so obvious. These are the galaxies that can be observed. You should go to that Bowser-shaped galaxy. I bet that's the safest one. This is the place where I sit and wave in space. This is a new one. I don't have enough stars. Yeah, you can only go to the one. This the is the good egg. The good egg galaxy. Oh, Not like for eggs. terrible boys like you, but you can invade nonetheless. Are you calling me a bad apple? <laughs> Mario is a bad apple, yeah. I am a bad apple. One is a tragedy, many is a statistic, he says as he flies to the galaxy. <laughs> I impregnate Peach's egg with my smeg. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works. All of my smeggy scrapings amount to one crusty baby. This is how we make Toad and his brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they are fungus people. Oh, this song's cool. Why don't you just say everything about this game is good? Ow, my fucking face! Well, you slam directly into more health, so, you know, no right. harm, no foul. You win some, you lose some. If you found a video game extra life in real life... What? A video uh, game wife? Like, a it video worked, game like wife. one that worked the same way, but in real life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so let's say you find a little green mushroom, it gives you an extra, an extra existence, but it doesn't make you age slower or anything. Would you, uh, would you ever, you know, just just give it a try, see what death is like? Like, if you knew it worked. Yeah, if you knew it worked. I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, also, I guess it, it'd be the same thing with, like, the teleporter yeah, thing. Yeah, would you know it worked unless you actually tried it? Yeah, but it, it'd be like if they invented teleportation, like, how do you know it doesn't just kill you and create a copy of you? Yeah, it's like, how can I be sure that the thing that comes out of this is really me? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't- I wouldn't risk it, Lyle, sorry. What if your friend did it, and he came out, and he was exactly the same, but he had a bigger dick? <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, I just do this every time I need a bigger dick. <laughs> <laughs> every time? Why would he do that more than once? He started really small, I yeah. guess. Sh first- first he was fucking uh -huh. short girls, and then he was he needed to fuck a taller girl, so he needed a little bit bigger of a dick. Is that how it works? Your height determines the depth and breadth of your vagina? I think so, yeah. Your vagina? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh! I, these right? rocks are bleeding! Punch the blood hole! Don't bleed, rock! Oh yeah, I think if you land in the red part, does it- are you safe? I or? think you can punch it in the red part. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'm It's like sure. a weak spot? Yeah. No! I'm not good! I okay, might have also just again. lied to you, but let's I try. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, Lyle, you're pretty cool. I know video games and such. Oh, no! Can I shoot that in the red? Try. You gotta yeah, do no, a better. I, 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 guess, I, I guess not. I really don't think that has anything to do with anything useful. It's just something to keep your little brother from asking for the controller. Is that yeah, really it? That, I it, think it, so. it really always seemed that way to me. Okay. I'm sure the game will tell you also, what they're Also, the way for. I'm holding the controller right now, it's kind of hard to aim this shit. Look, look at that. Now, that might be yeah, the, easier with like the little like Wii flapperoonies, but yeah. we, we don't want to use those. We want to use I a wanna big be comfortable masculine controller. I want to be comfortable I wish they just dropped that entire aspect of the game. I, they should just take it out. But it is very optional, you could just ignore it. But what if you're a new player, like Chris O'Neill, and you don't know what the fuck's happening? Then your friends will tell you, just ignore him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do think the original didn't have a button that you could press to do that spin. I think you actually had to flail your arms. Well, I'm happy about that. You had to shake say, your... I, I remember having to flail the Wii mode a lot. Yeah, you had to oh. shake your hips from left to right and do the Mario or whatever the fuck that stupid ba -ba 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 -ba. song said. Wait, so you gotta go... Yeah, ba -ba 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 Cool. Ew. Is that Omacha? Ah! He's you're become saying that's you. A, you're saying that's ah! a, he's like a cordyceps. He takes <laughs> over your fucking mind. I was really scared. Makes Mario climb to the top of a tree and then sprouts a mushroom out of his head. <laughs> oh! Don't hurt me! No! Can you punch that you in the jaw? massive dick of a plant. Or do you have to shoot it? No, you can there punch you it go. in the jaw. You can just kind of fuck it. Ooh, a little secret area. I'm not down with this at all. You solved the puzzle. That was fucking... I'm pretty impressed. Do you think I'm clever? Our video game shut off. Our video game shut off. Uh, well, you're dead. <laughs> Striking oh. him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I died. In no, Mario didn't. Galaxy, a game for literal tiny children. If a tiny child saw you playing this game so horribly, he could think that he could defeat you.
And then you'd have a challenge on your hands. <laughs> you'd showed <gasps> weakness. stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Land on the spikes. Damn it. Oh, There's an invisible man there! Clobber that invisible Koopa. I don't want to do that. Kill it! Fuck you. Take that, you bitch ghost! That's invisible! He's a fucking asshole. Where did he go? Invisible? That invisible. What's that? That's from, uh, Freakazoid, I think. <laughs> Wait, there was an invisible in Freakazoid? I think he was- I don't know if he was called Invisibo or Invisibo. It was something like- it, it may have just been Invisibo, actually. That Invisibo! Oh my god, it was a real thing. Wait, what? whoa, 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 whoa! You know, I thought that was the funniest thing in the world when when that came out. I think I was like eleven. I know, me too. Wait, so uh, this is evolution, right? This? Yeah. No, this is an egg. No, it's evolution, right? Like the process in which this came to be. I, yeah. You probably want to attack its tail ball. There you go. This is this thing's first moments of life, and you've just thrown it immediately into combat. I like killing yeah, children. Yeah, based purely on its resemblance to your former enemies. If that's not racism, I don't know what is. Punch its ass. Yeah, there you go. Like, for all you know, this thing would have never been hostile toward you. It could have been your best friend. Yeah, I know. I don't it feel just, good about it. You started its life off by brutally attacking it. Yeah, I mean, oh! this is essentially just clubbing a baby seal at this point. I think that's fine. Yeah. But you're not even getting a code out of it. I, actually, I don't know what Mario's gonna do with it. He might... See, nobody ever... Oh! Nobody ever talks about the baby seals, like, scalping people and shit. <laughs> yeah, there, scalping... there is that angle, I suppose. Everyone's always like, oh, the people came in and fucked with the baby I... seals. No, these baby seals were I scalping people. I think you should people. just run straight away from him if he's coming at you too quick. The baby seals were savages. They had priors, I'm just saying. That moment when you get home from a long day at work and you just lie on your bed and you fall asleep. And you burst into a star. Wait, and that's a... That's a regular star. Oh yeah. They're just regular stars. That's some Pluto goofy shit. I know, right? <laughs> In a world full of like sentient stars, they're still object <sighs> stars. I With eyes. That. that look almost exactly <laughs> yeah. like... Like the sentient ones. So when Goofy looks at Pluto, he's like, I'm sorry, you're a slave, brother. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Pudginess seems like a definite theme in Mario Galaxy. Everything's fat. Everything's just a little pudgy or a little rounder. It might actually be the equivalent of, like, if we found aliens that had monkeys as slaves. <laughs> that might be what, what Goofy sees in, like, Pluto, where it's just like, it, it's got resemblance to me, but him Goofy's and I are Goofy's just not... like, oh, glad it's not me in that league. <laughs> <laughs> Slavery's good if you're getting a good result. <laughs> I'm just saying the pyramids couldn't have gotten done otherwise. Oh my god. <laughs> the oh, this guy eats your fucking stars. I have become hungry. <laughs> Did he say let's pop those little morsels on my face? What yeah, okay, he said so, something like that. So you can you can fuck with enemies or you can feed them. Or you can kiss them. Yeah, you could I I mean maybe. Uh could you you only got the one star, you gotta get at least one more before you can go to the next galaxy. Is it gonna tell me the next thing I gotta do? Could you yeah. imagine the sensual bristles of Mario's mustache rubbing against your own? What does the ASMR stand for? Asthma. Uh, something sensory meridian response. Really? I forget what the A stands for, that's the only thing I can't remember. Audio? Uh, probably audio, yeah. Sorry. Audio sensory meridian response. I think that Oops. Uh, it's some made up crap like ASMR is like definitely a real phenomenon But I think a lot of the people behind it are like pseudo-scientific quacks So <laughs> and I think a lot I of people know. are just jacking off to it. Yeah, I don't look down upon it or anything But the community I, I, is weird to me. I, I was but, just gonna say I, I inherently get cringe from it like it, it's it's the most rawest form of cringe to me <laughs> Whenever I hear it, I just go, ah, oh, I hate it. Either it'll make me horny, or it'll make... <laughs> <laughs> either response is weird, but either it makes me horny, or it makes me feel like a baby to, like, experience it. I don't like either one. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. I feel like a lot of it is just, like, 
borderline porn. Maybe it's just the ones that have like cropped up for me. I was gonna I don't say know. for me, like it's the content is almost irrelevant. It's all just about the actual like the the, the audio. Like it's it's more about the technical qualities of the audio than about any of the content of what's being done or said or. And, and, and I almost never watch it with visuals. I always am just. I have a little uh, Bluetooth uh, speaker that that's designed to go under my pillow. I'm just saying it's 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 a mighty awful coincidence that something that purely has to do with audio is a space dominated Oops. almost entirely by insanely hot women. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. There's that's definitely an aspect to it. It's like to why people will get popular in that community. One, Not that there's the anything gazongers. wrong with it, but I don't know. I don't know what to do with uh -huh. my hands. I mean, I just I I can't imagine the people that just like sit fully awake looking at their computer screens with headphones on listening to ASMR. That I, I I'm Ooh, sure there man. are those people, and you know you do you, but that that just seems awkward to me. <laughs> hey, shove shit down my fucking throat, you paisano! If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness. He wants transform. you to make him explode. <laughs> oh, a hundred! Want... Damn it! I should have been collecting. A hundred! You fucking fat little bastard! Oh, and I will fat shame you till the dogs come home. You fat <laughs> repulsive! So I gotta get back out there and collect these. Get back out there and collect them, soldier. You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta find oh, a shit. nice girl. You gotta get those. Oh fuck! You. No! I literally looked down at the controller while that was happening. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, well that worked. That was, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> and now the hunter has become the hunted. <laughs> I hope that Peach is watching all of this happen and just saw that and her gut just sank. Oh, Mario. I really do pe believe she's, she's just like, like some creep. I thought you were gonna better. Be like, I, I'm gonna be stuck here forever, aren't I? This is just gonna be my life now. Have you ever played Super Princess Peach? Uh, I have no. not. She shoves a pineapple up there, you, you know. That's where she gets her power. In that game, you have to like platform around and like cry and have your period and shit, right? And yeah. wax your armpits. <laughs> yeah, wax your armpits. Take birth control. <laughs> Look, I'm dude, not how, do you, how do you even get back to that dude? I don't even remember where he was. Uh, I, I think know. you're on a loop. I think you'll get back to him eventually. Okay. Oh. I, th I think you kind of can't avoid it. I think that he'll oh, yeah, always he is, be haunting he, he you. He is the theme of this uh, particular mission, huh? He is he? the theme. It was called something to snack something, so I think so. I always thought counting was like one of the most overrated. Stupid robotic things a person could do when they taught me at account and math class. I'm like, yeah When am I ever gonna use this? Exactly And to this day you haven't right no never. Yeah. Oh my god I, I hate to inform you that those 40 oh no. probably didn't even count, oh, didn't count son any of, of them. bitch. Oh, no, so I'm just wasting them again No, that no, that time it's definitely counting. No, but it's counting, but when I leave to get more it totally glitched No, it, it, it counts yeah. those counted, but the last yeah. time you just shot him they totally had you feed that other one the same way, unless it didn't count for him either. Are these different ones? No, no, I, th I think they dropped the ball on, on the on the visual cues there, because how could you have known it was supposed to do all that unless it had done that before? Yeah. I don't want to be mean, but, uh... You know, I'm just gonna be mean, fuck it. I think my meta should just pack it in. I, yeah. <laughs> While we're being mean, I think uh, my moto has, like, Shit taste in movies. What's his favorite movie? His favorite movie is uh Rats 2. <laughs> There's a Rats 1? Yeah. What? When? It got cancelled, but yeah, they they were making Rats was, 1 and it got was rats. Is that like cats but with rats? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I just in my head it was just like a knockoff of Ratatouille. It was in production hell for 14 years and then they cancelled it, but Rats 2 came out because they sold the rights to it. Dude, that German guy, he should make that We're the Rats, but make it into, like, cats. And have a whole play about We're the Rats. I really like We're the Rats. But everyone freak- how could you not like We're the Rats? <laughs> it's like genius. Rats. Rats. We're the Rats. The biggest one is my favorite. I'm the giant rat <laughs> who makes all of the rules. This is the funniest shit, I don't know why. 
Uh, Did you ever actually see the the Cats movie? No, I really wanted to, but then someone informed me that they didn't have assholes, so I boycotted it. Ah, uh, yeah. You gotta have principles somewhere. I'm getting deja vu. Did we talk about this before? No, I don't- I don't- I don't think so? We just mm. talk about cat assholes so much that <laughs> it, it seems like a repeat conversation, but no, I'm pretty sure this is uncharted territory. This is technically deja poo. I guess if you want to be a scientist about it, sure. Oh, yes, this is definitely deja poo. <laughs> I have my degree in okay. deja poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Bill Gates, whatever, dude. You'll never do anything cool. <laughs> <laughs> I how do you get in there? This can't be like... Try smashing Wait a it, second. see if the whole thing just breaks. No, it's Dude, a giant pill. I think this is a giant red pill. <gasps> oh, I found it. We're inside the red pill. Whoa, this is also a blue pill. <laughs> it's a blue pill and a red pill. Oh, it I, depends on which direction you take it. We can either it. blue pill or red pill Mario. If you take it as a suppository, it's a red pill, <laughs> but if you take it orally, it's a blue pill. See, now he's going up into the red. The, getting red pills. The great cosmic suppository, and you have to get out before a giant being puts it in the rear. Now he's getting blue pilled again. Damn it. Yeah, that that's like a Majora's Mask sequel. You have to get out of the pill before the giant puts puts it up his butt. This is a great visual representation of like what Mario's going through. It's like every time he gets red pilled, he feels guilty and goes back to being blue pilled, but then he gets red pilled again and he just cannot help delve deeper and deeper into these weird like conspiracy theories. <sighs> <laughs> Whoa. I think you have to get to like the other end of it. The other end of it? Yeah. <laughs> you said end. I say a lot of things. You gotta learn to stop listening oh, I to see. me, I just... Omar. Ah, I see. Oh! Dude, I missed a coin. Now you will never be a rich man. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a funny man. I still need to see that. I've never seen that. I heard if it was really you funny. Me XD. Fiddler on the roof? Yeah, Rodrigo. <laughs> Always quotes it. I, I always w wish I knew what the fuck he was talking about. Tradition! That's yeah. just, it's just, it's like a weird musical. I, I saw it like a long fucking time ago. I like musicals when they're fucking good. I don't know that it was good. I remember it, so I it's guess all, it, it's alright. <laughs> like, it's definitely got iconic music and like it's fun. Rodrigo made I, a funny comic of it one time. But I mean, I'm a Jew, so. Wait, what? <laughs> I find it- I find it relatable, too, so I don't know what it's like without being Jewish. Does anyone else want to play, or are I'll you happy to go. watch? Okay, you, you play. I will take credit for this star. Okay. Wait, uh, what about those little blue star points? Uh, will this- am I gonna die if I go around hey, this? Hey, might will, as well just try. Uh, I really don't want to- okay, cool. That's not how gravitate yeah, look, yeah, works. Yeah, that's- they hid the other ones on the bottom. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, Tomar, explain gravity and why it happens. Go. Uh... When things have a lot of mass, but they, why, they, why? they tend to why? pull stuff toward- Why? Because they fucking fold space-time toward themselves. It's like a trampoline, right? No. It's the example everyone always gives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone told me that uh, nobody knows why gravity happens. Is that still true? Uh, there's there's some prevailing theories, but yeah, nobody's like proven for certain why gravity exists. But that's so fucking scary. Because running like, around this thing is a mess, controls wise. I know. No, I, I was saying, I was thinking that earlier. I mean, it's it's it doesn't feel very good to run around shit. You're constantly struggling which direction I guess you're actually going. Those things give you a way to now get at the actual star. Press R. What? Because remember they suck oh. you towards them, so now you just need to like have a few of them, like three of them, suck at you at the same time to get okay. to center yourself. Oh, what the hell? All right, this is weird. Well, now you, well now you've fallen. Dude's playing the theremin. You try to pull yourself across. <gasps> there you yes. go. Yes, yes, Loyal. Yeah. Yeah. I could have just jumped and got that. I think maybe. It wanted you to do that shit. It really did. It just wouldn't stop asking. You can open a new level now. Oh, Brown Star, like like an asshole. I get it. Miyamoto walks out on stage at the biggest gaming conference. <laughs> is a brown star like my asshole? <laughs> Here is a demonstration. He just spreads. <laughs> <laughs> just besmirching this man's memory. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't die yet, lol. He'll he'll die lolling when he hears that. I Why should not have. Now this, this is the honey hive galaxy. This is the honey hole galaxy. Yeah, I have no idea what the sequence of levels is in this. It's been a while. 
If you, uh... If you were invited to something and you went, and you just saw a big banner that said, B. Chris takes flight as you enter. Oh yeah, this level's a little more sta- like, like traditional Mario 64 too. So, you're telling me there's a rock in space with a fountain, bugs, and doors. Alright. Like, I can believe- I can believe that mushroom has a B pattern, but the doors? I don't want to open any of those. Like, seriously, bro? You're telling me bees constructive doors. Why even bother? They could just fly. Just let me go eat that fucking bee mushroom, you freaky weirdo. Okay, here we go. It's time to buzz around. Who voices Mario again? Charles Martinet? Yeah, Charles Martinet. Or, yeah. Charles Martinet. And does he think he's, like, cool for doing that? Cause Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It, it's made his entire career, as far as I- I mean, I- I don't think it's all he does, but it's definitely it's he what does. he's best known for. All he does is sit around doing Mario. <laughs> he's like, uh, the Ronald McDonald guy that... He just runs around his house in fucking full clown makeup. Wait, didn't he... that guy turn out to be a sham, though? Yeah. Wait, the- what? The Ronald McDonald, he just completely lied about it all. Yeah, like, he never even, like, worked was, as yeah. a- as a- as a Ronald. He's just a crazy guy. So he was just a nutball? Yes. Yeah. Fucking... Lived his life stolen as Ronald- Stolen McDonald Valor, yeah. <laughs> stolen McValor. Stolen, <laughs> stolen McValor. <laughs> there was a guy in my class in school, I don't know why I remember this, but he said, The guy who voices Mario lives in the pink house like a- <laughs> He said it like that. Why? Why? What's the pink- know. What's the pink- What? He, he said he lived in a pink house like <laughs> Was that- like, true, or...? I don't know. Not the second part, but, like, the the initial cl Why? I don't know. I don't know why you'd even retain that information. Is this just something And get angry about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, he spat on you. He spat on me because he found out my house was pink. <laughs> Do you think Miyamoto has, like, an evil brother called Miyamo Finger? Miyamo Finger? Miyamo Finger versus Toe. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I, <laughs> That's the funniest fucking joke. Uh, uh, what is- unsubscribe. Okay. <laughs> what do you have to say to me? What? What- no, this guy. Grab a flower stem and shake. Oh. Oh, you oh. know what? They're actually really cute. Whoa! This plays a little bit weird with a pro controller, but... Yeah, the way you're constantly rotating it in your hand, you feel like a doofus. I never and, feel and, like a doofus. And look like one. And kind of smell like one. What yeah, does he smell like? One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's gotta be like the most insulting sense to imply that someone's lacking in. Smell? Yeah. Like you can't smell? Like, no, just being like, fuck, you stink, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be called ugly or told that you stink? Uh, stink, because you can wash and not stink no more, but you can never not be ugly. You can't, you can't get rid of your ugly. <laughs> but you know something? You know what I learned? What? I learned that our ugly features are actually what makes us special, and we should celebrate them. It's from the it's Garbage not... Pail movie. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they're told. They're like, we're ugly and no one likes us. And then this guy's like, your fantastic features are to be celebrated. And so he just lies to the kids? Yeah, he, he, it's easy for him to say he looks normal. <laughs> that's like- that's like Sail Cat from, uh, Cow and Chicken, where he's like, Don't worry, cow! Everyone likes you because you're big and fat and ugly! <laughs> Go with it! Cow and Chicken had some really fucking insanely funny parts. Oh, she's gonna reproduce with Mario! Is she beautiful? <laughs> That's the debate in the comments. <laughs> is she? <laughs> Everyone's questioning. This was a fun episode, but seriously, is she beautiful? It's like that Laurel Yanny thing. Half of the people see a big fat bee, and the other half see a beautiful woman. Wow, bee anatomy. The clit's on the chest. Go for it. Ugh. Ugh. Mama <laughs> <bee>. <laughs> Don't touch that big pink oh, lump. Oh, so stinky. Oh. I cannot oh. control my carnal desires. She's human enough oh, to fuck. Oh, this is oh, creepy. She, That's the ticket. You're climbing all- Oh, there was oh my god, she just said that feels good?! Yeah. This rocks. Stinger on her- on her stinger. Can you sting stuff? She's giving me a lot of free reign to just fucking crawl around anywhere I want. <laughs> You're muff diving to the extreme. <laughs> I am! Yeah, let's just- let's just do this for the next half hour. 
Let's creepily talk about it and dwell on it for way too long. <laughs> Just saying, it'd be really funny if she showed her feet. I don't know, I don't think that's funny anymore. Don't tell me you're turning your back on feet jokes. Is this the first appearance of Captain Toad? I- I guess. Captain Toad shoots a load. Captain Toad shines that light right in Mario's eye and gives him little blotches on his vision. <laughs> You've destroyed my so life. that's it? You go all that way just for Toad to hand you a star? You know, he's like, if you find me, you just get a star. I want to Mario a game where it's like... more realistic art. Like, he, he actually looks like a real man. And he's big. He's six foot two. But Mario and Mario Odyssey is seen hanging out with actual real six foot two men. I know, but he's men. still a bullshit cartoon for babies. I want to see him with like... chin stubble... and like moles. I remember having a dream when I was in like first grade about what like a mature Mario game would <laughs> be like. You dreamed about, oh, I wonder what real Mario would look like. Yeah, it was like right when the trailers to the movie had come out and like my brain pieced together this weird hybrid of that and the original game. I would love a fucking or Metroidvania like, of the Mario movie. Just imagine Mario looking normal and then he gets the mushroom and then turns into this giant photorealistic man. And <laughs> And he's trying to walk through the level, and he's just like smashing through blocks. Like that's what was happening in my dream. So that's wait, you think that funny. a normal guy would be stronger than Mario is? Yeah, he could easily. F well, Mario's pretty thick though. He's got a thick neck, and he can't be hung. Like he Danny can't DeVito. be hung. Yeah, you can't hang him. You can't execute him by hanging. His neck's too thick. <laughs> okay, so Bob Hoskins, Mario. Imagine that's the new game. You get to play as Bob Hoskins, and he's five foot nine, right? Then he eats the mushroom. And now, he becomes like Super Bob Hoskins. He's got like Hulk proportions. He turns into Smee. Smee? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the only other Bob Hoskins character I could think he of. He did seem kind of normal sized, huh? <laughs> what do you think of the Mario movie? The Bob Hoskins one? I just remember it like profoundly upsetting me as a kid. I, I used to love it as a kid. I was kid. gonna say, I, I, was, I was gonna like it no matter what when it came out. I honestly think it, it would be a fun movie if they just changed a few things. There's there's some things that are too stupid, but besides that, I think it's like a fun little location and everything's all fucked up. Lyle, you didn't like the fungus? Okay, so... Do you want to try hitting a, a, the... Oh. A little bit of context is, I didn't know that the Mario movie existed as a child, and uh... God, do I have to explain Blockbuster for this story to make sense? Blockbuster Video was a store that existed probably before you did because I'm old and dying. Where you could rent movies on like I think VHS most people cassettes. in our in our demographic know what a Blockbuster okay, is. Okay, fair. But anyway, uh, they would just put the VHSs in these kind of unmarked things that would just say the title of the movie and just have like a little Blockbuster logo. So you had no idea what the contents of the movie actually were past the title. Uh. So I saw Super Mario Brothers, I expected it to kind of like, you know, look like this. <laughs> and then it was like just this weird fucking Blade Runner movie. It's funnier than... Which, which, wow. I, I was like three or four, so it, it kind of like super upset me. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> So Mario's there, he is spragged and long-legged. <laughs> he looks you right in the eye. You're four years old, and he says, Young Chris, you are <laughs> destined to become a Let's Player! <laughs> how, how much of that, of your developmental years, does that ruin? I don't think he had any context when he was four that's, of what a Let's Player was. That's something you absolutely would remember, though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. Like, uh, Im imagine yourself, not- not knowing if you were gonna be successful or not, just having gazed a crystal ball into the future, and just being told you're- you're destined to be a Let's Player. <laughs> that would change you. You- you would assume that that was a message from, like, God. What yeah. are these? I think that, yeah, the Crusades were actually waged over a similar scenario. <laughs> Yeah, where Mario said to like the Pope something about being a Let's Player. Yeah, I think I think the Pope said that if you become a, a Let's Player, you get into heaven, and that's how the Crusades began. I hate you, Pope. You ruined my life. Wait, how do I get up there? Also, that does that. Okay. Yeah, you just, Chris, you just you walk around. You're Irish. The whole you can't thing. say mean things about the Pope. Oh wait, I guess wait. 
Yeah, they they have like you're a Irish thing. Catholic and they're Roman Catholic, so there is a difference, huh? No, no, no the Irish love the Pope. Oh, yeah. the Irish do like the Pope. Although in Ireland they have something like you know Krampus is like anti Santa Claus. They have like an anti the Pope who comes and uh, <laughs> if you say bad things about him, he they comes a, into your room at a, night. They and, have a Prampus. <laughs> yeah, a Prampus. A Popus. A Popus. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, you you just have to go up the hill. I know. I'm just trying to like see if I could be cool. Popus for Smash Fuck! 5. I oh, did you it. did it! I'm a legend. Everyone thinks you're good. What are we doing right now? Is it, we, we just turned on the console after two weeks of not doing this. Why are, are these can... bees being such little shits? Um, he feels no pain. He's never felt pain in his entire life. Ooh. There you go. Oh, and yeah. Then you attack when you're in that. But I'm exploring at my own pace! Okay. <laughs> I'm exploring at my own pace! Look what you did! There might be something cool back here. You can't blame me for that. Yeah. huh you can't blame me for what, I, what you just did right there. What you done just done did. What you, do, what you did. Oh. What you done just just said to me was high treason. I would hate to live in this beautiful vista and just always know that there's a horrible black hole down there. Yeah. yeah. It would make you really make the days count, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? A friend. I don't think so. A you foe. know what to do. That was crazy hard. Kill him! Fuck you, damn thing. Oh, you Those just... guys are always invincible, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I think he can jump on his soft skull while he's upside down and he'll die. But oh, now, now he's, he's, now now he's, he's just angry. angry. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. Yeah, once he's angry, he's definitely invincible. Whoa. Alright, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> Wait, can you go inside that? Oh, no. Inside these little Ikea Foosk Stick boxes? What? No, Mario. Foosk Sticks. Mario, do the side jump like you used to. Why are you turning? Your wound stinkles and your yeah. I don't know. I so I've been playing a little bit of this, and I gotta say, Mario controls a lot better in Sunshine. I think that's what I've been hearing. Yeah, on the boob tube. It's it's not untrue. My dad was watching the boob tube. He turns to my mom. You know they're saying Mario Sunshine controls a lot better than Galaxy. Oh Mitchell, <laughs> you can't believe everything you hear on the TV. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. But no, I, I I do think it's true. I mean, I, I think it's not fair to compare it to something like Odyssey, but Sunshine came first. You're right. And, uh, this came second. That's my analysis. Biting, isn't it? That was like, a really You're on the cool... Dr. Seuss hat now. That was a cool video essay. Uh, my video essay, Mario Galaxy, was it really what it was made out to be? Was it really a galaxy, though, if you really think about it? Galaxy implies you get to explore... Like, galaxies, and that would just take years. Months, even. Well, I mean, you just have to be in one galaxy, which, to be fair, all Mario games take place in just yeah. a single galaxy. Also, yeah. if you take into account the fact that Mario is 49 feet tall and runs at 160 Ooh, miles per hour, <laughs> he could get through it a lot faster than you or I. I'm invisible. Yeah. I feel it. Oh, uh, this rocks. Power. God, I love it. Yeah, I'm invincible. Fuck you. <laughs> he just breaks <laughs> a million pieces. That was a little bittersweet. Yeah, Mario is gonna really have to kill like, that guy. Yeah, that's gonna give him a drinking problem. Thinking about that, <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. <laughs> oh, you went into the tower. What? Oh no, you're mis missing him. You're moosing. Was I supposed to go? You, I think so. Yeah, I think you'd go in the right way. I see that beautiful babe. This level's really that long. That babe you crawled all over. Fuck you, little bee. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, look at that thing. What's that? I bet you're supposed to stomp his back. Yeah, he's got the all too familiar thing. There you go. That made me feel very murderful. What's that star? Uh, that, or that gives mushroom. you a oh, second it's... little health dingle. Whoa! Whoa! That's kind of nice. Haha. <laughs> You never stood a chance. Okay, Tomar, Mario Trivia Hour. Start. Um... Like, ask a trivia question or tell you Mario Trivia? Tell us Mario Trivia about Princess Peach. Her dress is... Extra... Thick? When... She... Faces... North. Yes! I <laughs> <laughs> go, Luke! Ah! Haha, uh -huh. double death. 
Oh my god, my child uh -oh. is dead. You enraged it. I don't yeah, blame you, it. You murdered his baby. Ah! It, 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 it probably corresponds to the same rules as the other thing. You probably can't uh! hurt it while it's red. Nah, I'm sure you can. I'm just being stupid. See? Ooh. You, you enrage it. Was that really the whole mission was to murder that thing's child, followed <laughs> I, by it? I guess, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Just that, that <laughs> slightly larger than comfortable bug. <laughs> That was fucking horrible. Okay, Princess Peach lives inside herself. <laughs> <laughs> she just like squats. a comically large version of herself, or <laughs> wouldn't you? She shoves her head up her pussy. <laughs> I love it. That's how she goes to bed at night. That's, that's just, where she goes. She to just think. ascends into a giant her. <laughs> uh, she stands between the legs and just. Am I supposed to feed this idiot? She says, I must ponder on this. She goes into... You don't need to he feed him, He no. seems to like it. He likes it, but there's no there's no reason to do it other than that he likes it. That I is the new galaxy. that new galaxy. What, Mario? It's get the, the other button. It throws you for a loop. Really? It really does. <laughs> Oh, the loop, I, it throws you through a loop to loop. I wish I wish that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off we go. Are you ready to do some motion control oh, related? Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I'm so lazy, though. My fat chicken wings are weighing me down. Okay, let's talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Race surfing isn't so easy, so listen to what Coach has to say. This is Coach? That's Coach Peng. Is it really? I'm a surfer. That's what I'm calling him. Oh, wow, look at me go. Oh, God. This does not feel good at all. <laughs> this feels horrible. Oh, welcome to hell. Oh. Well, I'm trying my best. Does the amount of coins you get even matter? Probably it not. matters to someone, but to us, probably not, no. Let's just get this dang star! Oh, I said good luck. That's For our nice. excellent surfing prowess. Get out of here. How come the water is just, like, floating in this formation? Hmm? It is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Extra life! Oh, go, go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. This music horrifying. Some flautist died recording this. <laughs> <laughs> you can just imagine them, like, like gasping for air <laughs> at the end of one of those flute solos. The waves it makes is throwing me off. It's crazy. Iwata got a comically large mallet and chased the flautist around the room oh. to get the, the intensity and the performance. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's very method. It's very meth head? Method. It's kind of sacrilegious. <laughs> if doing oh. meth gets you into hell... It does. Then... Good. Did I do good? Yeah, you did better than whatever they said the record was. Yeah, you did better than any penguin who's ever attempted it. I deserve a gold medal! You Probably sure just do. by virtue of your human brain. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if some weird alien came to Earth and just won every Olympic. <laughs> That's essentially what's happening here, and they're not even, like, weirded out by it. They're not like, is he allowed to compete? They're just fine giving you the gold medal and saying that you're the best country. I was thinking about that kind of concept recently where if an alien came down and they were perfect at literally everything, including being like super funny off the top of their head and stuff, humans would just hate the fuck out of them. You they, think they would? They would? Humans would get super offended that such a perfect race exists. We like, just no. get space jealousy? I think so, yeah. Possibly. Or it might be something where it's like... You know, you know how when you hear like programmed drums or something like that, you're like, oh, that's that's a drum machine because yeah. like everything's so perfect There's and no like stars left exactly in on time. It would just be like, oh yeah, that's just a corklax did that. <laughs> so it would just sound like so robotic that we probably wouldn't. I don't know. At least for artistic stuff. But what if they were so like perfect and good that they knew how to make it sound like perfectly human and like just likable? They knew how to throw in the human errors that were just. But they weren't so bad that they ruined it. I mean, at that point, then it would- then it might just be, like, weird. Then it might just- <laughs> that might be like having a printer that, like... You know what I mean? But the aliens are super cool and chill, and they're- they're like, Oh, we don't even know what fucking, like, war is. We don't even know why people they don't get know, jealous. They don't even know what jealousy and war are anymore. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just so nice and likable and perfect. 
We might hate him. I don't know. You'd hate him because you're a dick. I'd no, hate I. Him. You were the one that fucking asserted that we'd hate them in the first place. No, I'm saying that most humans would. Because most humans are petty and jealous. Maybe. I I do think like if there was an alien that <clears throat> could run 50 miles per hour, you reasonably wouldn't let it compete in the Olympics. <laughs> that's that's my only point. Well, why not? Because it just win. So. Doesn't it deserve to? <laughs> I don't know, that was the question, right? Mario comes in and he's better at everything than all these fucking penguins. You're excluding the poor alien, Does Lyle. he deserve their gold medal? You're I'm just- I'm just arguing that perhaps He never did not. drugs, he never did anything wrong. No, but he's different. He's a different thing, he should be in his own division. Uh-huh. And I guess technically if he's the only competitor, he would win the gold in that too, but it'd be different! You're such a monster, I can't believe this <laughs> I, shit. I have never said anything <laughs> bad. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, what am I You're doing? You're trying to fight King Caliente. Who yeah, the fuck is that supposed to be? Oh, you wish you knew. Use the pipe on the other side. <gasps> I was so foolish. The you other didn't side. even know. Oh, the fucking... Oh, I forgot that it's gravity and stuff. You're in the little house. I should have come in here from the start. <gasps> See, Tomar? Follow the beats. Oh, it's playing the classic. Do -do 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 -do. Complete with Looney Tunes bopping sound effects. <laughs> I'm making it go ahead and yeah, I was gonna say, if you don't run through them perfectly, you fuck up the tempo. <laughs> I don't even need this fucking spur life. Get out of there. Off you go. Fuck. Can you f free that poor fellow? Where? There's a little toad trapped in the ice. Entombed maybe for all eternity. Maybe he was put there for, like, a he reason. He didn't even try to save him. Like, he, maybe in this world he was a murderer or something. Yeah, Tomar, you're so obsessed with if you could that you didn't stop to question if you should. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like an Avengers quote? It's a what Jurassic is, Park quote. Jurassic Park. That's, that's right. twice as pertinent because it came out the same way. You know, you guys are racists. <laughs> what? You guys, just because he's Toad, he can't do no wrong. That's race. That's the I, definition of racism. I would argue he can Wait do a exclusively minute. wrong. Just because he's a Toad, he's. Big... <laughs> See, that was reverse psychology. I wanted to, I wanted to goad you into saving him, and now he's free to murder again. He told me a secret, and he... And hey, Toad. And we didn't even read it. How do I get up here? You can it. Yes, I can. You will it. Yes, I can. You shrill it. I don't think I even need to get up there. No. Okay. Nobody important has ever been up there. What's this? Just a big turd in the ground? Yeah, can you make that thing retract? Yeah, punch uh, punch the coconut into it. I put the light in the go. coconut, and I die. suck it all up. Where am I going now? Right there. Okay. I wouldn't go in that hole though, it seems... seems not good. <laughs> I would go in that hole. Okay, well Tomar would go in that hole, so maybe listen to one of us, but not the other. One of these men is not like the other. One of these men is WRONG! What's that? Oh, that, I think that was, uh, the one of these things is not like the other was like an old Sesame Street bit. Oh, really? Yeah. What about Jack Black's Octagon? What? We see Jack Black on Sesame Street? I guess not. He's like, THIS IS A FUCKING OCTAGON! Yeah, I remember that clip got YouTube pooped a lot. That's me spitting at Lyle. Here, smack him back like I would. Can you smack him? Not those, but you can smack those. For realsies? Oh, yeah, you do better it, do believe it. it. Yeah! Oh, wow. I've been anticipating a spitting for some time. I'm, I have all the strategies. Oh, wait, there's a little toad. Okay, that toad. One, that one's definitely evil. What did you do? Nice See? work, but I don't care. He, he's like, he's, <laughs> he doesn't even, yeah. I evaded the IRS for four years. <laughs> you let him out. He's like, do you have something better to do? <laughs> yeah. He's like, okay, dickhead. Maybe I won't next Pay time. Pay is like a good boy toad. The whole time I've been in here, I haven't had to make a single alimony payment. <laughs> like the, they're like snails, where like one of them becomes a, a female when necessary. Oh, but, like seahorses. Yeah. And toads. That's the or, whole point. Or, or maybe they just breed like actual fungi, and they just they'll eventually just get stuck in place, like like in the. 
the Mario Brothers movie we were talking about the other day. That movie's freaky. So remember that hat? Yeah, that had like actual like fungus stuff where like King to Toadstool was actually just like a big, gross, disgusting mold hanging from yeah, the ceiling. That shit scared me. I, yeah, me too. I completely forgot about that until just now. At least he becomes not fungus at the end. Because it looked really like slimy and gross, yeah. like it was made out of snot. Yeah, they turned their poor father into a snot. Yeah, that, that whole movie upset me as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was Princess Daisy, not even Peach. Oh, you're right, yeah, they based it on Daisy, who was only in Super Mario Land. There's a big, big danger up ahead. Shoot a thing at the lights on the ground. Ah. Huh. I guess now Daisy's like a household name, because they, they just needed an, a quick, easy, like, extra female character for Mario Tennis, but... Now she's in- now she's even in Smash, right? So this is King Caliente, huh? Apparently. Don't know where he got his name. <laughs> Caliente? Oh, like Calamari. No, it, it, no I, I'm pretty sure it is just because he lives in lava and shoots fireballs. Oh, uh, I feel kind of bad, though. What, that you're invading his home and taking his life? That's kind of the running theme, yeah. Wait, why do you have ice guys living in the lava? Mario is kind of an intergalactic colonizer at this point. He's, He's a okay. bit of a colonizer mentality, oh. doesn't he? I will long. spread great disease like Columbus! Ah! Those are hot! Can you freaking believe that? Oh. Okay, there's one. I couldn't forget it if I tried. Oh, go for it. Yeah, you got it. That's it. That made me so fucking good. You fucking conked his blonk. Thanks, Lyle. What is that? You shoot it. No, it's just, it's just light. Shoot it. I can't. Something bad will happen if you don't <laughs> shoot it. That's the wrong mindset. Okay. <laughs> something, Whatever. Something good will happen if you do <laughs> shoot it. Something bad might happen if I don't shoot things. <laughs> the shining star guides me. I gotta do one more stupid thing and then I can go to the new galaxy. You discovered I think, the oh, it unlocked galaxy. the. I think it unlocked the, the other thing. A hungry Luma appeared. Oh, you should go feed that guy. Okay. I want I, to see what happens when I feed the Luma. <laughs> it always makes me curious, but I never do it. <laughs> there he is. Maybe I'll feed him and see what happens. <laughs> How many is this greedy motherfucker gonna want? Four hundred stars. You That's like almost all our stars. Fucking fat bastard. He just came up with that number after he found out how many you had. Yeah. He was gonna be fine with like twenty. <laughs> or he was like, "How much you want?" He's like, "How how much you got?" Transform. Zoom it out. Nukes the sky. He became a fucking great evil. <laughs> the sweet sweet galaxy. I don't want to go there. Okay, you know what? I might actually Will that take you to the sweet, sweet galaxy? It sure looks like it. See, that's a different galaxy. Okay, let's see if it's any good. That disproved your theory that this was only one galaxy. Shut up, dude. You. Treating those lives like they're nothing. Well, we gotta lose them somehow. It's too easy otherwise. I'm so sick of games with holes in them. No! Damn it, dude. I'm not very good at this part. I think this is definitely meant to be like a bonus, diffi more difficult than usual level, but if it's you okay. just take it patiently and jump a lot. Patiently? But I gotta yeah. look cool. Well, you gotta either be patient or cool, you can't be both. Uh, okay, here we go again. Yeah, okay. I'm doing pretty good, see? See? Yeah. See? Okay. It seems like this part you're better off not jumping. There we go. What's your what's your jumping theory on this part though? The star is right around the corner. <laughs> the star is right around. Oh my god, what's happening? Should I get those? No. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 go Mario. Mm. Okay, you got this. I'm so sick of these silly careful, shapes. Careful. I'm good. Don't worry. Okay, I want to tell you guys a secret. Okay. The first few times I died, I, I really wasn't trying. It was it was kind of like a bait and switch, you know? Just jump. Uh. <gasps> mm -hmm. See? 
See? See? I know what I'm doing. See? See? Just jump! <laughs> <laughs> Just jump! Yo! Okay, there's a so little So that's where thing. the cutouts went. <laughs> oh, fuck. <gasps> no, no! Mario! <laughs> Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking scary. You do have like a double jump if you spin in midair. That spooked me more than like a bony plays episode. <laughs> I love mint chocolate. Shut up, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he did that too to get there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love mint chocolate. Shut up. He's on the same level as I like turtles. <laughs> I like he turtles. He just got to that big cake and rather than grabbing the star and escaping like you, he just started like eating. <laughs> he just keeled over and couldn't control himself like a fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory character. That is kind of a good reward. Another galaxy? To be stuck in cake purgatory? If it isn't Rosalania. I did not want to talk to you, you fucking it's Rosalingus. If it isn't ro <laughs> Red Lasagna. Your friends are waiting for you. You just tried to talk to her and that fucking star jumped in in the middle and went, Anything you want to say to her, you can say to me, bro. Like, get the fuck away from me, <laughs> like you greasy you fucking him. star. I came here with her, I'm gonna fucking leave with her. <laughs> you oily fuck. <laughs> oh look, it's Captain Toad. That uh, must be his little ship. We finished building the Star Shroom Starship. The Toad Brigade will be the brave crew. So I nominate me. Okay. Yeah, we get it. You're coming out on a game on the 3DS really soon. Is he? No, I guess not. Didn't Captain Toad become popular for Mario Odyssey, or am I just stupid? Yeah, what what He's did in Cap Mario Odyssey? What was Captain Toad a, a no, title wrong, for? Right. Was it a Wii U game? Uh, or was I it think. a Wii game? I don't remember. I'll, all I know is the person that designed it like kept bringing a diorama into the office and being like, just give it a chance. And Miyamoto was like, no. And they just wore him down with persistence? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I oh, there's fucking them. Dorcas and Bingo. Dorcas! He thinks Ro Road Lasagna is a witch. <laughs> Road Lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> Open the Bowser galaxy, then you can finally beat that mean old Bowser. Bum, 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 bum. Well, bum. Bowser Jr. at least. <laughs> I mean, if you can't get at the man himself, you might as well murder his son. I would hate to fly at a huge galaxy-sized version of my enemy's head. <laughs> Mega leg? Can you think of a real-life enemy who would be your Bowser? Uh... Yeah, for you. <laughs> Lyle, you play. You're right. bigger and stronger and look cooler and have a better voice. He's bigger. Stronger. Faster, faster too. Have you ever even been to a planet, bro? <laughs> you ever been? Sound like comic book guy. Have you ever even been to a planet? Have you <laughs> been? I'll be, uh, I'll be Homer and you be comic book guy, okay? Very well. <laughs> I went, uh, knock knock. I, oh, ding ding ding, he walks in. I wanna buy a comic for my, my favorite son, Bart Simpson. Are you aware of your son's, uh, interests, hobbies? Does he have a favorite comic? <laughs> uh, I, I, I ask my wife. Merge. Our son knows nothing of pain. <laughs> he has not suffered the way we have suffered. I, 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 I do not believe I asked that question. But, <laughs> he likes radioactive uh, man. I have a feeling your son will like this limited edition first volume of The Punisher. We cannot say that as Marvel. So you are a DC household, I understand. I too am a of your kind. Mm, dick cutting. <laughs> what do you mean your kind? <laughs> what do you mean your people? What do you mean your I, people? I don't, I don't know where, where to go with this role play. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> okay, uh, Homer takes out a small crinkled envelope and he opens it. <laughs> it has to be The secret to your past must be revealed. <laughs> He hands it to comic book guy. It's a picture of Millhouse. This is my real son. <laughs> I do not do. Uh, <laughs> we don't know what to make of that. I, I am not related to you. <laughs> I like how they're just taking it out on this fucking <laughs> comic story. Why boy. is this happening in my story? I just want to say things about the Green Lantern. <laughs> Bart is the original son of Chief Wakeham. This doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I do not, I literally do not care. 
Good guy. Wasn't there something like that where, like, originally Chief Wiggum was supposed to be Bart's dad or something fucking stupid? What? No, I don't think so. Yes! Oh, no, you know what it was? I, well, I was thinking of, uh, originally Homer was supposed to be revealed to have been, like, Krusty the Clown. That was it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Which is why they look almost exactly the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a really stupid reveal that Homer was somehow working as a professional actor the entire time. He was bungling his job at the power plant. That would have been on the same level as Armin Tanzarian. Oh, yeah. Another stupid reveal that was supposed to happen was there's supposed to be bunny ears under Marge's hair. Really? Yes. Oh, like she was going to be vaguely related to life in hell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in I don't the know what Simpsons it arcade games, whenever she gets shocked, you can see them. Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. But then Matt Groening in an interview said that it would make her, quote, less fuckable. So he didn't, <laughs> Did he he didn't really? go through no, with it. No, he did it. not yeah. say that. He was smelling his fucking palm the whole time he said it. <laughs> he said, he said originally, originally it was just about making a funny cartoon character, but then it became an, um, an obsession of sorts. That ball of flame represents my soul. <laughs> and then he showed off his Marge Simpson pornatorium. Where he's just coated a whole room of monuments to his creation. Mario looks up at her. I paint pictures of you on my deviant art called Tozelina. <laughs> <laughs> Tozelina. She's just like, I fucking love that. <laughs> that would be pretty horrible if like you were kind of stuck with this dude as the guy you were <laughs> having to save the galaxy with, and then he was like, just got weird like that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched you from afar my whole life. I know that our relationship was never a romantic one, <laughs> but, but I think you are as ready as I am. <laughs> She's just like, fuck, you got like eight stars? This is gonna go on for the rest of it. <laughs> I like the idea that Mario's one of those guys. Remember that video of the girl on Omegle? And she's like, she's just sitting there and Mario's just like, Show me your feet! Yeah, show me your feet. <laughs> she's like, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> show me. I love that. Show them now, please. You have lovely boobs. <laughs> Can I see your cleavage? So creepy. Is she doing it or what? No, she's trolling the fuck out of them. It's really funny. Do you remember the name of the person who made that video? No, I think it's in our cringe folder. It is, I know. You know I don't feel bad for them, but goddamn. <laughs> but it's a good video. Oh, that's a nice little shader. Look at that. Uh, that was not the direction he was supposed to run there. Whoa. Yeah, like sometimes he does get trapped in these weird little like he'll end up running yeah. in circles like yeah. I'm, I'm holding literally the opposite direction that he's running right now well, I think that's always been like a Mario thing where it's like it 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 tries to compensate for camera it So does, if you were going in a direction because like of the spheres it just fucks it up even worse Please be careful, dude. You don't know where these things have been. <laughs> Just Don't like put that huge fucking logs of shit floating in the background. <laughs> I think that is like an actual common type of uh, like shape of, of space debris, like like in the asteroid in like the asteroid belt. Yeah, long kind of. Because I've I've seen I've seen uh, asteroids and like space rocks represented that way in a lot of different stuff. Okay, we get it, dude. You have a telescope. You don't have to fucking rub it on our face. I don't have a so telescope. Cringy. That would that would be cool. If you could see the asteroid belt on a normal telescope, Tomar flexes on us with his giant telescope, like his like he's got a Lamborghini or something. And it's like, <laughs> I've never, on, I, I, I've, I haven't owned a telescope since I lived at my parents' house, and that was like a, like a crappy little like, I, it was I a crappy only telescope. See the Jupiter, kind of a waste of time. It was like a super low tech telescope that do doesn't have any of that modern cool stuff, like the ability to track stuff at the rotational speed of the planet. I always feel really bad that, uh... people will post these, like, these exciting pictures being like, set up my telescope and I, and I, I got Saturn! And then they'll post a picture of it and it's always, like, it's really small and dot. blurry. It's a dot. It's small and blurry and they're super excited and I'm just, like, used to all these, like, beautiful renders of, like, HD planets. And whenever I see those, I know they're really hard to get that, but I just can't help but be like, huh. Eh. 
I think that's a normal human reaction to those, Chris. Like, remember when they when like, they, they saw the black hole for the first time and the internet was like, "Oh my fucking god, it's a black hole!" It's just, it, it looks like that, except like Gaussian blurred times forty. So what you're saying is you don't care about the black hole? I'm a dick, yeah. Okay. I care if it eats me. Do you remember when there's that woman that tried to spark a controversy over a greeting card where the little recording said all you black holes out there? What? And she was convinced that, that the recording said all you black hoes. <laughs> Even though it was clearly a space-themed greeting card. And you black holes, you're so ominous! <laughs> and you planets, watch your back. Camilla? It's Kamala Khan. I was thinking that. She's gonna get a big hand at you, or whatever the fuck she does. I don't remember. You know, everyone's making fun of her. Poor Camilla Khan. And all I have Is to say- Is everyone making fun of her? I thought it was just us. <laughs> no, dude. Fucking- I think that game bombed. Did it? I haven't heard fucking anything about it for exactly, as high profile bombed. of a release as it was. Everyone kind of came to the same but it, conclusion. But it was a really fun game to do for Oni Plays. It's super fun I to rag on it. I definitely want to do more. Yeah. I want to beat it. But fucking everyone can agree Kamala Khan is a horrible character in the game. I don't know what she's like in the comics. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have an opinion on something I've never seen. But yeah, in the game it is really dopey she's, how she's introduced. You know, she's a terrible, horrible Mary Sue. It's completely uninteresting. Everything she says is just stupid. She she's the queen of exposition. She literally just wins a fan fiction contest or something, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Like it's not. It's almost like. Comical the extent to which to it's, which it feels like a Mary Sue. It's, an, it's like an actual literal like in universe Mary Sue. It's very weird she, It's just like a perfect example of them trying to like be super inclusive, but then that they ruined their own chances by Like not trying at all Yeah, yeah, and then it feels like it's coming from like a really cynical place instead of an actual yeah. like well-intentioned place is it actually, like, fun? I played the demo or something of Playing it. Playing as Thor it and the Hulk was fun. kinda fun. Yeah. I'm not even lying, like... The combat looked fun. It feels good to smash it. But it does get kinda repetitive after a while. Oh, that poor fucking... That poor turtle. <laughs> I was glad that that happened Now he's to it. dead. <laughs> <laughs> now he's dead. Why you would, damn it, now! Why would Mario say such a thing? <laughs> That's Mario's catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> now you're dead, Bowser. <laughs> now he's dead. He says, "Ha! Ah, now he's dead." Oh, that is just so silly. It's Magic Koopa's like mom. Wipe your greasy mouth, you son of a bitch. <laughs> greasy. Hit it back at him. Or oh, wait, I is that what you're supposed that. to do? No, not. You're supposed to wait ah! for. It to I guess you have to wait for it to transform into something that you can hit back. So you just guys, let let it hit the wall. Do you and guys see know, what it is? Do you know Tender Greens? Yeah. Tender. Oh, I, there you go. I got a f drink from Tender Greens earlier called the the Greens or something, where they just like blend a bunch of like green vegetables. I, I don't really like Tender Greens. No, that. it's it's really not good. I feel like it's a, an overrated restaurant. It's not good already. at all. It's actually it always arrives and it's like not very nice, but. I was drinking that greens, and then I went into my bedroom, and then like 30 minutes later I come out and I look in the mirror, and it's just like green shit all over my, my like, t-shirt. I like spilled it all over myself like an idiot, <laughs> and I didn't even notice, and, and like, it, like, it's silly, but if you had a seen it, you would have been like, what the f try? Like, I look so stupid. It was like the, the biggest cartoon splat I've ever seen. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Ah! How come she's so big? That She's is the, the question mama. of the day, isn't She's it? She's the ma beagle. Uh, I need one of those or I will die, surely. Has uh, there ever been a good Mario boss fight, like, ever? Like, one that really Mario felt, like, what? challenging? I, I, I kinda know what you mean. Like, like, these are fine for what they are, but, like... I, I feel like some of the... Like, never in the main game, but, like, in Odyssey, there were some fun ones in, like, the late game, like, like the sort of post-end game. I, I mean, the fact that we're kind of all struggling to think of a good one probably says, like... How do you make, like, a good boss fight for such a, like, a kind of a slow-moving, platforming thing? Uh, you would kind of have to make it, like, a bit of a level, I would think. Yeah, it's kind of a doozy, isn't it? Kinda. That's... Actually really weird that you point that out because it's like it's fucking Mario, right? You'd think 
you'd think it'd be like, oh yeah, it's got me memorable bosses, but they're they're typically not the best parts of those games. Yeah, no, it's really more about the level design than about the boss. I think they're really just there just to show that you're progressing and having something satisfying at the end of a thing to say, I beat the monster. The battle. Oh. Ooh, if it isn't the battle rack. Honestly, a lot of games in general have shitty bosses. Yeah, and there's a lot of those bosses where it's like the upper torso of the thing, because you can't... That's the only way to have its face and your character in the same place. <laughs> yeah. And again, I, I don't know what the solution to that is, aside from doing like a Shadow of the Colossus type thing where you literally climb up it. I loved sh the idea of Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, I like the game itself, but... Just the idea of it just being a game of giant boss battles, and I know, I know other people have done similar concepts since then. That game, uh, Dragon's Dogma, had some cool, like, bosses and large monsters that you could kind of climb up like that. Oh, that's right, yeah, it had the climbing mechanic as, like, a, an assault, like, in addition to, like, a full, RP like, action RPG system. Dragon's Dogma is one of those games, though, where, like, if you just start it from scratch, it sort of suffers from, like, there's too many fucking things I can do. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's weird how that game kind of came back, like years and years yeah. after it came out. Now it's got like a Netflix show. What really? Yeah. I didn't know that. What the fuck? I liked The Witcher show, by the way. I know there's mixed opinions on that, but I enjoyed it. You also loved the game, didn't you? I, I yeah, I really like The Witcher. I think most people do. Why else are we all so hyped for them to make Cyberpunk? Uh, oh, I don't know, dude, because you're like a Redditor. <laughs> just... uh, uh, I resent being called that. <laughs> you can't say that with the hard R. <laughs> Reddit. -a. We prefer to be called Redditors. <laughs> the hard R Redditor. <laughs> dude, maybe, just maybe, in like 50 years, Redditor is a dirty word. It, it should I think be it already kind of is. <laughs> I think if you called someone it's a redditor, it's lame now. But in like in like maybe in twenty years, people will hate being called it so much. Like even it'll, YouTube, it'll be YouTuber, bad. it's like it just refers to someone who releases videos on YouTube. But like a redditor is like even YouTuber is like a little bit insulting if you it's actually true. if yeah, you yeah. actually it's have true. a craft. I really didn't have to break all four of those nipples, but I did it for <laughs> you, the fans. We love you, Lyle! We love you lots! <laughs> Wax his armpits for Lyle. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Please don't do that on my account. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're doing for you! We love you! Someone out there uh, put wax on their arms in the exact shape of Lyle's tattoo so you can leave your hair <laughs> in the shape of his tattoo. <laughs> Snack of diddly diddly doo. Snack of diddly doo! Hey, diddly D, an actor's life will be. Tomer, give me some Pinocchio trivia. I don't know what he actually just did. I don't uh, either. Some actually. Pinocchio trivia? Mm hmm. Did you know that Jiminy Cricket starred in a series of, uh, of like safety videos that were created in the 1950s? Really? And I happened to have to, to watch them because I lived in Michigan and all kids had to go to something called safety camp. Really? Yeah, where they teach you like how to cross the street and like bike safety and stuff, like how to signal when you're on a bicycle. Jimmy Cricket taught you how to cross the street? Yeah, and he sung this song that was like, I'm no fool, no siree, I'm gonna <laughs> live to 103. <laughs> you know he's not, he's gonna live to like fucking like eight months and then get but, eaten by a bird. But I like how he, yeah, he, he, he taught no nonsense traffic safety. He's just like, if you don't listen to me, don't worry, it just means you're an <laughs> if I was like Pinocchio and I was really fucking mad at Jiminy for like talking down to me like I'm a fucking child, I'd call him Jiminy Dicklet. That would actually hurt his feelings. I think also, so. Also, is Jiminy Cricket even in the context of Pinocchio real? I thought uh, he was kind of figurative. No, he's real. He's thought, real Cricket. I thought he was like Poke... P Pokeo. P Pino P I, th I thought he was Pinocchio's fucking, uh... But he was a Cricket before he was Pinocchio's conscience, remember? Yeah, he was just a poor he just cricket. He just happened to be there when the fairy showed up. Yep. Oh, wrong place, wrong time kind of thing? Depending on how you want to look at it, yeah. I think I mean, he, he appreciates getting the new clothes from the Blue Fairy. Yeah, no, he was he was really down on his luck if I if I recall. Yeah, he's a fucking cricket. He didn't have to worry about raising a child. His toes were poking through his shitty socks. Give a little whistle. 
I always wondered what actually the the advantage of Pinocchio becoming a real boy would be to him. Uh, it's just Geppetto just fucking hated uh, him as a puppet. Said, I will hurt you as a puppet, Pinocchio. But that was the guy that played uh, Jiminy Cricket, a guy uh. called Cliff Edwards. Here. This is what he looked like. Damn it. He looks <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> Every moment I'm not him, I'm just miserable. <laughs> Look at him go. He's, he's got the cigar in the hat. He's that sucking one. on a cigar. Here's your Jiminy. I bet Walt <laughs> Disney thought that was the funniest man in the world. Walt Disney invited him in. He was like blowing smoke in his face and everything. And Walt Disney That said, is Kami's you, lookout. What the hell? You will be my friend. Kami. Kami. You're not allowed to live on a big metallic half spherical floating thing without ripping off Dragon Ball. What's his problem? Oh, he's got tons of them. He could talk your ear off about them. Really, he just wants you to blow up his garbage. He's, yeah, he's just here here to make you play mini mini games and clean up his trash. Did you almost say mini o galaxy? <laughs> mini <laughs> mini o galaxy. I love mini o galaxy. Wait, does that mean- so is the idea that you have to figure out a way to clear the whole heap? Oh no, they keep regenerating. Yeah, uh, I thought you had to do it all in four bombs. For some reason, Mario started running in a circle when I pressed one singular direction, so that was neat. <laughs> there, you got it. You cleared it. You can never be too safe. Blow up! Oh my god! Yeah, what Are the you hell? kidding me? <laughs> you gotta do it faster! <laughs> what do you mean I gotta do it faster? Is there some way to make the bombs detonate prematurely? You just gotta throw them faster. Yeah, this fucking guy. Blow up all the- Yeah! Blow up all this trash! That's what his voice did I definitely it sound back like. I out, cause you didn't do a good enough job! He'd sound like that sort of like first instinct like Hanna-Barbera kind of character. It'd be a real shame if you didn't blow up all the trash and it just drifted through space forever. That would just really suck. Do you remember how the robots all sounded on the Jetsons? That's what I imagine him sounding like. Rosie the maid? Not Rosie. Like, like all the other ones. Like, they all would always talk like this. Really? Uh, I'm not gonna get this one. You really fucked this one, dude. I'm yeah, just saying. The, this uh, is a weird fucking mini game. I feel like there's something wrong. Wait, can I, like, shoot this and, like, blow oh, them yeah, up, maybe, maybe? Ma like I said, yeah, maybe there's something that lets you detonate them early. There's something wrong. <laughs> you said that so sad. You know the definition of insanity. If I ever find myself in that same position, I'm just gonna, like, try to do that. But... Do you want to know the definition of insanity? Do you want to know the ploop of my loop? Yes. Yeah, right there. Oh my god, I And think then he... one between those two, and he then... He might have done it. Bob's your uncle, fuck. He might have done it. Right, Try shooting him. No. Come on. Oh, what? oh shit! Come that's, on! That's actually fucking nonsense. Try, try to find a way to do it with just four bombs. Like, they don't explode for like a it, whole it, ten seconds. That, that I felt like I did pretty okay. Exa yeah. Examine that playing field. It okay. seems like those yellow things yeah, even maybe, indicate where you should be targeting. Maybe that's the case. Maybe you just throw them directly at those. That would kind and of that's like because that's five bombs, which you I think you've always had enough time to explode five bombs. Yeah, throw it now. Oh, fuck. there you go. Okay, Let's I think see. you've got this. Go. Fucking please, come on, please, come on, blow up. Oh <laughs> yes. my god, that's really weird. They just put it. They put it right out on the ground. If he gave us anything less than a star, I would have been mad. For a child's game for children, that was. Weird. Yeah, to be fair, they did give you the exact answer to the puzzle. That's but, true. But we only just noticed it. <laughs> oh, play with my fucking head. Oh. If she was rendered nothing but a head, would you like pinch her nose and tug on her eyebrows and stuff? She liked it. I'd fuck the bottom uh, of her neck. Is you, you mean like what you actually do to Mario in Mario 64? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's only fair that Peach should have to go through that. Yeah, that's feminism equality. Yeah, exactly. I want to fuck with Peach's head. So what? Yes, yeah, so wanna, what? Yes, yeah, so what? I want to yank her eyelids. I want to fucking flick her nose. What am I doing? We haven't played in seven years. Uh, go into the. Give the... that guy his letter. Here you go. You're being drafted. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place. <laughs> Five one-up mushrooms. Do I want them?
Would you like them now? No. no. Okay, then. These will be emergency rations for the Toad Brigade. Come see me next time there's a letter. Well, you can't eat those. You're a fungus. You! Hey, does that mean the Toad Brigade's gonna, like... Like, do you get any benefit to turning down those one-ups? I don't know. I just said no just to be, like, a, a complete asshole. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. Though, okay, I was gonna that's... say, your reward is that, okay, that's five free one-ups you don't get. If you're not collecting, you're not erecting. There, there's a missing one in, in the Honey Hive galaxy. I am quite impartial to this galaxy. But Chris, this is the origin of your favorite character. Graystyle the Bee. <laughs> Big Bad Bugaboom. <laughs> I like to imagine he's just bending his cock down into the stinger hole. <laughs> he's Ew. tucking and that's where it comes from. Ew. He'd have to tuck it all the way around the back. <laughs> I hate those tumor rocks so much. Oh! Parasites! Oh, I finally saw Venom Lyle. Oh yeah, The movie you like recommended it. for like seven years. I think Kyle recommended it. I but did like it. It was it wasn't great, but it's, it's still fun. Yeah, it's stupid as hell, but yeah. it's funny. I wish it was stupider. It's, it's more kinda... entertaining than most other like movies, like them that I what I ever would have expected. I was I, hoping that it would have gotten like way gorier and crazier and yeah, stupider. I think originally it was supposed to be rated R, and then they uh, said yeah, that they, they couldn't. They pulled uh, like yeah, their hands were tied, and they had to make this weird. Weird PG-13 movie. I, I almost feel like that movie has a little bit of that vibe of like I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest these stupid things to my boss Ooh. just to prove he's an idiot <laughs> kind of kind of things. Yeah. Where like there's there's a part literally near like right at the end of the movie where it's just voiceover of Venom and he's like I am a good guy now. I used yeah. to be a bad guy, but now you are my friend. And it's like the, nothing in the movie is like happening. That it clearly was something added in afterwards. <laughs> he says the funniest line in the whole movie. There, he says, yeah. "For you see, on my planet, I was a loser like you." <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like, okay, that actually was the best part of the whole movie, though. Yeah, Even if yeah. they added that in for no reason, it was the best part. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, I'm never gonna beat this game. Never. No, you're beating yeah, you it. Yeah, you did it. Look at you go. Okay. It's time to go crawl all over your queen again. She's conscripting you. You're getting drafted to the war. Oh. Thank you, Clotilde. Make sure you jump onto the bee. Yeah, that's it. I should just show off. Ooh. Finally, you can recognize your bee self. Yeah, assume the form. Ooh. You gotta go up the, the dandelion, you gotta spin on it. Or you could do that. Or you could just die. Nope, I'm not dying. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, there you go, this give you a nice little boost. <laughs> Mario's so silly. <gasps> it's King Mandablub. No! Oh! <laughs> You kind of cheated the angle there, huh? Is that what I was supposed to do? I mean, I guess that's okay. He's got a little piss hole on the bottom. That's his cloakia. Bugs don't have cloakias. What do they have then, genius? Hmm. Shitholes and piss holes. Do they have separate dicks and balls? Yeah, I would and, be surprised and if they. And... Are you sure that's true, Chris? I would have thought they they would be more likely to have a cloakia. No, they've got shitholes and piss holes. Okay. No, I, I don't know. I'm just lying. <laughs> They've got two dicks. I mean, They've I honestly got don't five know. Vaginas. And they've got a lot of attitude. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that thing <laughs> felt actual pain. <laughs> Poor little fella. To be fair, he was being a pest. Yeah, that's true, but so was Mario. You're right. I've always found it kind of uncanny how Mario is like always smiling. He's almost never like angry or uh, scared or any anything like that. Even when the situation totally calls for it, I've yeah. gotten a little bit better about that in like Odyssey and stuff. But in the old Mario games, like people would be dying around him and he'd just <laughs> jump and be like, "Yippee!" Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, okay, Luigi's the scared one. Yeah, we'll go to the Battle Rock. Fly to the galaxy. Oh, was that trash exploding thing that I did the last time? Was that not even what I was supposed to do there? What do you mean? Because it oh, said you, mean, it said it had you had like the star? fourth star in. 
Oh, I don't know. I think the trash thing you did was like a one star level. I think that was a separate thing. I would give it one star if I were to read oh, no. the quality of it. <gasps> I remember the first time I saw the uh, the trailer for that movie, Gravity. It actually made me laugh. <laughs> because it, Because the movie was called Gravity. It seemed like one of those like lazy like premise movies where somebody like thinks of the title first and then the movie afterwards. <laughs> it seemed like they they just went, where would gravity be the scariest, the highest up place of all, space. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of movies do this thing where they'll have like a big disaster happen, but they'll also have the character going through some kind of inner turmoil that's completely unrelated. Yeah. Oh yeah, like oh we're going through the apocalypse, but yeah, my daughter is going yes. off to college. Yes, and, and it's, it's like, like I don't understand why that's even part of the story. It's to try to make it more relatable to uh, viewers like you. But in that movie, she's like, my daughter died. <laughs> it's like, I don't know your daughter, lady. I don't care. Wow. The survive gonna... space <laughs> right now. That's cool. <laughs> would you say that right to her face? No. What? Well, then why would you say it here? She's going to see this. Sandra Bullock's? No, well, that's not, Sa not is that... Sandra Bullock, the character from the movie. Um, I would just say that was really cool. You survived space. Then she'd be like, my daughter's dead. Be like, okay. The space was cool, though. <laughs> she would get a green heart. That's the one they give you for surviving or dying in space. I didn't see the movie. I don't know if she dies. But yeah, that's every disaster movie's problem. It's like, oh, my marriage is failing. It's like, at the end of the movie, you know what? I learned family's important. It's like, I don't care. I just wanted to see a cool tidal wave rip apart a city. All it took was the Mayan apocalypse. Dude, did you, did you see the new Godzilla? Yeah, like, that shit's Like the boring. newest one? Oh, you mean the one with War of the Monsters or whatever? Yeah, yeah. That one's pretty boring, the, too. The, well, the monster stuff is better <laughs> in it, but, like, the, yeah. the human drama is absolutely the stupidest fucking that thing in that. That always sucks. Why do they keep doing that? It even feels like the people writing it don't want to be writing it. They don't. They were specifically told by the producers who don't know anything, we need to have people, like, feel, connect with the characters. And then the writer's like, oh, but they just want to see monsters smashing each other. It's Godzilla. They do! <laughs> yeah. It's Godzilla making chocolate pudding. It's four o'clock in the morning. I think we should beat the rest of the game without saving. That'd okay. Be pretty cool. That's a good idea. <gasps> a new galaxy! Nothing ever bad happened to anyone who said that. That's not a new galaxy. That's just another friggin' Bowser head. What the heck? You hit him in the eye and he goes, <laughs> yeah, why would Mario fly towards this with a big smile? What a fucking idiot. Yeah. Woohoo! Ooh. Space in Mario World is kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of sick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love that. Yeah. Oh, it's intro. like the Mario 64, uh... Yeah, the Mario 64 boss level, uh, song. It's a nice little reprise. Yeah. That is just the melee theme, do, do, right? Do, 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 do. No. No. No, this is the do, 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 Mario 64. Do, 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 do. I mean, do, oh wait, yeah, it kind do, of is do, do, similar. Do, do, do. Well, definitely the Mario one came first. Yeah. yeah. I always feel like the melee song was based off of it. You're probably right. I I totally didn't fucking put that together. I I don't know that I It's not the same. I don't think they're that similar. Like they've got a similar like like melody mood, mood and melody but the melee theme the menu theme is the best song in the world i've never gotten sick of hearing it not even once yeah no that, that game had real good it, it had the best intro too yeah i love that intro is melee the one with the star no melee's the uh the gamecube one it's the gamecube melee's the one that goes <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you should put the music over there. <laughs> Hopefully it'll make more sense with the music over it. That was, that was scary. <laughs> it's so good though. It is. Especially that part. It's fucking cool! It's the best. I, I think it's far and away the best the best one. The best part is when it goes dun 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 dun, dun and everyone's going shit shit, and everyone's just making their little noises. Yeah. 
Yeah. But anyway, enough of that fucking nonsense. <laughs> this is my source of power. When people sing the melee theme, I get happy. <laughs> I smile and I grin. Melee's the best out of the Smash games. I miss Wave Dancer! Brawl is too slow! <laughs> I think ultimate is a nice balance between brawl and melee. Shut up! <laughs> that is Normy shit! Oh, watch out, he's making ring a ding dings. Oh, I'll never do that. He made I'm him burn his fucking, fucking feet. Beat him in the head! <laughs> Lala, what's the stupidest thing you've done to your own body? Stupidest thing I've done to my own body? I mean, I have a tribal tattoo, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. I meant more like, I sawed off my soul with a knife one time. Just cause. I, I feel like that, that would be fight. the- oh. I feel like that would be the easy joke to make, so I just lean into <laughs> It'd it. It'd be so disgusting. I'm, now I'm imagining someone actually like, hacksawing off just like, a, like a bread slice of the bottom That's of what their I did. foot. Did you really? Yeah, I used a steak knife. Why? Because I had a big callus on my foot, and I just kind of sliced just it off. I was, oh, I it didn't. It didn't did hurt. you regret it? No, it didn't hurt at oh, all. Oh, okay. So it was that much of a callus, yeah. huh? I uh, when I was in middle school one time, I got like a big zit, and I I made the decision that it was so fucking like gross that I'd be better off just like cutting it off and having like a big like. <laughs> You cut off a zit. Yeah, it was like a big one too. Whoa. So it, it it was like I, I basically I don't, performed I don't know surgery was, on yourself. Yeah, I don't know if it was like a a lesser of two evils, but it definitely like looked weird. Yeah, that's cool. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. You tried something new and you stuck with it. Yeah. Let's go. Hit him again. Oh, that's so cool. Ah! Yeah. Oh my god, into the cold void he goes. <laughs> oh no, he's alright. You colossal bitch. Something else caught him in its gravity. That's kind of a weird Mario boss where Mario's just basically beats his ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough to like knock him into his shell and then knock him again while he can't fight back, but then you gotta knock him a third time for good measure. That's such a stupid asshole. He didn't look like he was like on his last thread of life. He could've just walked forward and grabbed Mario and bit his head off. Yeah, kinda like Yoda when he abandoned all the Jedi. Yeah, he's a real piece of shit for doing that. You got a grand star. Burr. Yoda walks in. Burr. <laughs> Burr. That's all he says. <laughs> Burr. Burr. He wouldn't be so wise if he said that. Burr. 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 I think that would've made his character better is if he was totally non-verbal and he just went Burr. Burr. You just saved that grand star and then thrust it into an eternally burning sun. Yeah, well, it deserved it. Yeah, your science lingo will only get you so far, Tobar. I think you just unlocked a new, like, uh, Astrodome. Mario's 17 years old now. <laughs> like, I am almost legal. <laughs> I can sign is up Ma for Mario's more. definitely more than 17 years old. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think my moto said that Mario is like 23 or something. Oh, you're like, talking in terms of like the character's actual yeah. age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the history of Mario. Yeah, no, he's definitely, he's in his 20s. You I always think? thought he was it's not his 30s. I thought he was like an older dude. I, I, I thought he was like... Oh, oh, I thought you were saying, you know, he's definitely not 17. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, he's definitely at least in his 20s. I always felt like he was like 32. Yeah, Mar Miyamoto said he was like... Like 22 yeah, or must 23 a mustache or something. is kind of a weird look for 22, but not really in the 70s. Good point. Which is like when Miyamoto was conceiving him. Yeah, I guess that's true. He, I, I always did put him like, like dad age. He's kind of doughy too. I feel like it would be like after his metabolism slowed down. I see him as like a portly, like five foot three dude. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I hate this fucking guy. So important. He said he's got a lot to say to you. No, I'm not gonna listen. Well, that's good, cause... He's just gonna fill your head with lies. He put fossils in the ground to confuse you. I can't believe this is being emulated. This one works pretty good. The sunshine's a little bit weird. Like, you definitely are aware that you're playing an emulator sometimes with that one. Really? Yeah, it's not bad, but it's... 
like what, noticeable. Like what kind of things? Uh, just just like frame rate stuff where oh, like it'll blatantly like tank or like when it when it goes into like one of the the pre-rendered cutscenes, it looks really weird. Mm. Like I I don't know if we played it, you'd definitely see what Whoa. I was talking about. I like him. Uh, Man, I wish they'd taken a more like traditional remake approach and just like taking their source code which I'm sure was mostly C++ anyway mm -hmm. and just compiled it for their new thing and, and you know filled out whatever you know whatever the hardware abstractions shit was I think that they did custom make the emulator like it wasn't a it wasn't a deal where they like just stole dolphin and like ported it to the switch unless that's exactly what they did but I was gonna say they legally I think could Actually, I don't know what license Dolphin's distributed under. I don't know if Dolphin... Yeah, can you do that? If someone's emulating if... your hardware, can you steal back that emulation and... No, but I think it's open source, so... Certain open source licenses actually say you can reuse them le Like, MIT license says you can legally reuse even for under commercial use without any attribution. Which is, that's one of the most, like, lenient, generous licenses. But even, like, the GNU license, that's more like, if you include it for free, then you have to include the source with your product, and you do have to credit the creator, but you can still use it in commercial stuff. I forget what game it was, but there was some game where they did, like, a remake of it, and I don't know how they found out, but they basically found out that they, like, got the ISO for the original game from, like, an emulator site or something. <laughs> really? I, I have heard of stuff like that. I think it was Nintendo, but I don't remember what game it was. I've been told, and this story's on the internet, too, where people say that the HD remix of Kingdom Hearts 1 is a is completely ground-up remake. Yeah. And I completely don't buy it at all. I you think don't? that's complete fucking bullshit. Because you can't just remake an, a, a, a game entirely and have it be literally exactly the same. But again, like, if these things are made in, like, C++, they don't really have to... They just have to, like, recompile the stuff that's, like, distinctive to that. the hardware. That's fine. They should say it, though. It's like they're acting like it's a big feat. Like, it had to be completely redone. It's like, it's not... I mean, if they're using, like, new models and, like... But they probably aren't. They probably, like... But they probably did polish them up and stuff, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, there's still definitely way more effort that goes into even that kind of remake than just, you know... It just feels like fake trivia. Creating like a middleware emulator kind of thing. On IMDB, on the Hobbits, you know, the Desolation of Smog or whatever, in the trivia for that movie, they're like... It took computers 72 hours to render one scale of Smog's armor. It's like this complete fucking horseshit. <laughs> you fucking lying. <laughs> 72 hours? Yeah, this is you complete fucking liar. Yeah, like there was something where they were like, they made every individual grain of sand for the Sandman and Spider-Man. I'm like, no, they didn't. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, that was the particle system. It's worse. It says, it took one processor week to render a scale from Smog's body. It's not fucking true at all. What is a processor They're saying week, it took though? one process- I bet you they just told them how many, like, CUDA cores were in the system, yeah. and then they tried dividing the time by the- But even still, it's that's like, not true! One NVIDIA chip would have, like, thousands of CUDA cores now, so I don't- I think it's like a really- it's probably a really inaccurate abstraction. Probably. All I'm saying is- Or just- it's, not inaccurate, but misleading. It's just a stupid piece of trivia. Yeah. That's like that shit you were talking about earlier with the serving size. What's your serving size trivia? Well, it's not trivia. I was just it's just talking about how it's kind of an. I wish that like things were like the servings aren't like an obvious thing. Like when it's something like a bag of like chips, and it's like, oh, it's only 120 calories per serving. By the way, there's six servings in here, and each yeah. serving is like four chips. Like, I don't think they should be allowed to do that. I think they should just have to say everything in the bag and not be able to do the per serving thing. Yeah, because it's blatantly someone's just gonna eat the whole bag of that. Even though it's easy math to do, I think it is still just deceptive and it's annoying that I should have to do the math. Like, just tell me what's in the bag. If it's a certain size or smaller, at least. Yeah, that's true. If you're looking at the fucking thing on the back of it, you're you're onto that shit anyway. Like so a single like... bag of M&Ms, like a normal size, like that's like about the size of a chocolate bar, that's technically three servings. Really? Yeah. Like, that doesn't seem right. Just say what's in the entire bag. Just admit that there's like 400 calories in there. Camera cuts the CEO of this company. 
of Eminem Mars. You know what? I've been a real piece of shit. <laughs> I would lie, I've been lying to people. I can't believe I did that. He pulls out a meat tenderizer and just starts going to town on his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but then, I'm sorry, Tom. But then after doing that for like five minutes, he's like, "Well, I've punished myself enough. I'm not changing anything." Yeah. <laughs> and can you blame the guy? He took a serious sacrifice there. He suffers for his shareholders. He bears the brunt of the blame, not yeah. them. Good for him, taking responsibility. What a man. Ooh, this room is wobbly. This room actually makes me fucking sick to my stomach. Oh, I'm gonna fucking hurl. I hate this room. I would hate to see this. Check this out. Oh! It didn't kill him. I thought it was gonna kill him. Alright, well, he's not a threat anymore. He has fallen. Uh, I feel so bad for Marco. Why? He's always oh. smashing his brain. Oh no, he's still alive! He's the Get biggest- Get me out of here! Get me out of here! He's the worst fucking Goomba. He's such a non-threat. He's the worstest Goomba. He's gotta live with that forever. He doesn't get to die. He gets to live. I have a Toma that I call my Goomba. You shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I tattooed my to my Toma to look like a Goomba. You should. You could get right at front page with one of those. My kid said he got scared when he saw my Toomba, so I made it look like a Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> That is freaking cool! Have some reddit gold, sir! <laughs> Get that Toomba, Toomba, looked at! Yeah, you Help. tell him what to do. Don't hit the wall on the ocean floor with a shell, it would break and... Oh, so oh. you should hit the floor on the ocean shell. Oh, don't you tell me I mean, what to hit do, the shell you son on the of ocean a bitch. Floor. What great evil am I to unleash? Oh no, what are you gonna do with that? Ah! Yes! You made me what? squee my knees up. <laughs> those eyeballs? I guess that's not really Reddit, Reddit speak. Oh my god. That's like DeviantArt. That's Peach's eyeballs. Peach's sleeches. Mario's gonna give her the old peach around, if you get me. <laughs> peach around? <laughs> peach around. I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the peach around. <laughs> that's awful. I want Mario to get cancelled. For saying peach around? Yeah. For just being weird? I want him to get super fucking Mario Tude. I think it makes <laughs> you all the perverts! <laughs> Luigi You do not Tude. even know what the peach around is! <laughs> that thing is a, is a horrible existence. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, not as I really as yours. insisted on I, I went so far out of my way to die like that. It wasn't even... Wasn't even, like, in the path yeah, of that death. Yeah, that was just your own <laughs> impatience. It's like when you, when you have like a cat or something and like tries to like run under your feet and you're like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, are you trying to die? Uh, no, yeah. Even God! <laughs> I, I can't do it. Just fucking someone Here, take, I'll take this it. from I'll me. I'll take it. Tomer, you be the idiot. It's time for me to be the merry. Dance, monkey, dance. I don't know why my brain doesn't work with those things. I get around them and immediately Super become Mario. stupid. I gotta stay here. Yeah. Oh. This is the trick. You could've just jumped past them. See, this is why we need an engineer's mind on this simple baby game. He engineers <laughs> our imagination. What do you engineer besides pure hatred? Uh, I mean... A lot of, like, Linux-based computer systems, I guess. On this show, we made a joke where we made fun of Linus tech tips. Did yeah, he? his wife walked in and he went, Linus's vaginas is. <laughs> First tech tip is gonna be, don't fuck with me, Chris O'Neill. <laughs> don't fuck with my vaginas. <laughs> Listen, this is, I draw the Linus somewhere and it's right here. <laughs> this whole five minute conversation happened because Linus rhymes with vaginas. <laughs> I had never watched him, it was just a name that I had seen, and I like unironically watch Linus Tech Tips now because I fucking looked it up after we made that joke. <laughs> if we want to like close an important loop here, I don't think that Linus would get mad at the phrase Linus's vaginas. He seems to have a pretty good sense of humor. Linus's vaginas? He specifically messaged me actually. Are you proposing? And to, to ask that you stop saying Linus's vaginas? <laughs> no, he threatened me. What? With a, with a he lawsuit. said, talk about me or my wife again, and you'll see what fucking court means. What did he actually message you? He didn't. Oh. He, he blocked me. 
Oh. No, I didn't. Well, stop! Stop! <laughs> You're taking me on such a roller coaster. Oh, uh, just fucking learn to stop reading fake news then. My dad keeps reading fake news and sending it to me. I just don't get it. Why, father? Why does my father always believe the fake news? I fucking hate my own fucking father! Actually, no, that's not true. As you say, none of that was me referring to my father. I was just you should father. send you should send your father that clip and just be like April Fools. Send it to him on opposite day. Dad, I know you don't. I know you don't believe all the fake news. What's the worst thing your dad ever did to you on opposite day? He didn't. I don't think my dad ever did opposite day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to. That means that your dad was just horrible for one day a year. You don't even know it. My dad died on opposite day. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a good one. Well, it makes sense. Otherwise, he would have been alive on opposite day. Yeah, no, it's a good, it's a good call. May all our fathers be dead on opposite day. And luckily, I felt really happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> Once the joke was over, though, it's been horrible. There's a national slobber my knob day. Yeah, well, I lie about when that one is too to sometimes get my <laughs> knobber slobbered, but. Your knobber is so fucking knob like. It's knob like, it's slobbery. It's just a mess. It looks like a hobgoblin. A I got my goblin. own star, you guys! You finally did it! Oh my god, Tomar, if you fucking <laughs> jumped off. <laughs> I faked you out <laughs> twice. <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird that the most repetitive song in this game is not orchestrated? Do, 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 do. That part? Yeah, it's a little mid eye file. So is that. That is weird. Oh, I love using motion control. It's so fun! It's so fun! Look at it, I can move it around! I love motion! I wanna play. You wanna play? It's called Mario Twins. They look the same. They look so hot, they <laughs> like the same person. Schwiegerty, schwiegerty, schwa. Be Gusty Garden for fuck's sake! My God damn it! My point is, I have it and you don't, so. What's this fucking shit? I'm, I'm so shit. worried Don't you're gonna one. give up on this game no? as soon Don't as we get to Gusty one. Garden. Not? That's the only gonna, thing. I, I promise you, if you do that one, you'll hate it. I want to see what is it is. Alright, I warned Have you done you. this one? He's gonna hate it. I want to see is what- Is it just because you hated the garbage thing, or do you know specifically what I this know is? I know specifically Chris will fucking- he'll get a big vein on the, the, his forehead. I'm not a Japanese cartoon! And like, <laughs> like, the, like the vein that looks like it's got like three of those little like- like sort of seat like yeah, shaped things. Swamps. Oh, these fucking idiots crashed here. Yeah, and they never left. Yeah, this place is rancid to look at. Yeah, well that- <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna hate it. No, uh I'm gonna have fun. Alright. <laughs> That's the sound of Chris having fun. I give you five fucking one ups, and this is what you do. This you is waddle around the in this fucking Captain sludge. Toad crew. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't this be easier because you let them keep those five one ups? We decided to go to Chernobyl and die of exposure. <laughs> I like that. We do not take life as something to be valued. <laughs> Isn't that right, comrade? <laughs> For we are spores. Spores. Look, I'm really good at Mario, so this should be a breeze, honestly. Don't forget to blow air by tapping. What? Uh, you, d it'll make sense when you're in the bubble. You're gonna hate this, though. Oh. Oh, I see. Looks ah. like he loves it. I think he loves it, Lyle. Lyle, what the fuck are you talking about? I think he loves it. This is the most fun I've ever fucking had in my life. <laughs> we'll All right. <laughs> we'll see how much oh, he likes no. it by the end of the level. Oh, no. See you, Lyle? I didn't think you'd like it. Okay. I have a little Mario. Now he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I could do it. Look how he had like a little Terminator 2 hand come out of the sludge. I'm all the way back here. What the hell? Oh yeah, you start all the way over if you pop. Are you fucking real? Yeah, I'm real. This can't be real. Reach out and touch me. This can't be real, bro. You just gotta make sure- Oh you... no, you missed one of the little star points. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care! I think that's the whole objective of the level though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, you gotta collect five of them. Really? <laughs> yeah. You gotta make one of those little blaster runies. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, here's one. Gotta save my friends, the toads, right? Yep, you love them, don't the you? The toads and toadettes. I've always appreciated Toad. I feel like he's a good guy. Okay, there's another one. Would you say you have, like, a love of him, a general love of him? I wouldn't call it a love, but... What if, what if he was- he was leaving and you were, like, 12 years old and- and... 
Your mom was like, tell Toad you love him, you have to say you love him. I'd be like, and Toad's your stepdad also, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I would- I'd love Toad. I do love Toad. Now that you say it, I love Toad! Did I do it? Am I good? I mean, only if you can get past these spikes and get to the thing you just made. I feel like I'm really good. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. yeah, 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 oh! yeah, no! No! Fuck you! <laughs> this is the sand! <laughs> what that the fuck? Sucks. Eat maybe, my... it'll, maybe it'll start you with that now. Are you fucking serious? Look, Chris loves the level, man. Why the fuck <laughs> did that happen? Spin! Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, well, you gotta do more? They're definitely- oh yeah. No! <laughs> I thought it was just a silly little challenge. It is pretty goofy. Oh my god. I can't believe you said I'd hate this. I like how Mario is like a short Italian fetus in this like amniotic sack. <laughs> What the fuck? Is it the star? the star? That's the star! That's the star! That's the star! Beep, 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 beep! Ooh. I love the JPEG of the cloud smoke in the background! It's so compressed! <laughs> it we're living in the simulation! <laughs> it is much more likely my life is a simulation than no! <laughs> yes, let's save, and let's never go back to that hellish galaxy again. I'm also glad that Toad got left behind. Yeah, no, you never bring him back. Good. Fuck up that guy's table. Wait, pop a squad on it? Oh, I can't believe you did that, Mario. Oh, uh, Mario, you're literally <laughs> in a snail trail. <laughs>